Have somebody ask me if I was the one playing the kazoo at the end. Yes. Like as if yes, as if Michael could play the kazoo. That also, way. it'd just be so <laughs> weird. Good, like, right? yeah, we got this song made. Great. Whoever made it, wherever we got it from. But I need to be the kazoo yeah, guy. It was Carrie. No, Carrie it's just that. in there. It's just. You think the we song. should add an instrument to like you just hitting the cowbell or something? <laughs> yeah, a ding, ding, and then I'll ding. scream, "I'm doing it!" While I do it, <laughs> so they know it was me. Look, it's me, Michael Jones, doing yeah. the bell. You would say Ryan if you did it, but yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so no, I got too. it. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Off Topic. I don't care. I'll look this way anyway. As far as <laughs> episode number eleven, you know, I'm here. I'm always here. Well, Your host. That time, that time you weren't. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. In the gen Matt. generally Matt speaking, not. always isn't always. It's just kind of always. I'm always here. I don't think anyone in this company has always done anything. You're right. But they say it. Well, until recently. Uh, I mean, Michael was on every Minecraft, right? Until he left. It's true. Mm -hmm. I got Ooh. stuck in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Piece Cost of you. shit. Cost Piece of big. shit state. Are you more annoyed Dude, about that than you're Get this. On? I'm, you, I'm pretty annoyed about it. Totally just like. It's not internal, it's external. Oh, annoyed. I, seen I don't like it. About it. Michael well, doesn't keep any emotions I'm not going to come in two weeks later and just flip a desk because <laughs> I got stuck in New Jersey because there was snow. But listen, I'm host, right? It's still on me, by the way. I didn't pass it along yet. Host, uh, used to work for an electrician, mm -hmm. right? Do some voice acting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an okay cook. Uh, I, I clean real well, Man and I do town. it a lot. Yeah. I do laundry. I Male fold it. Out. What are we doing? It. We just all, all the no, shit no, no. I was doing my going, intro. Oh. It's his, his that, that was my right? intro. I mean, mm. And joining me this week, we have. I'm Lindsay. I have none of those accolades. Gavin, Ryan. See, you guys gotta love yourselves a little more. I'm a team player. I work well with others. You drive there the car. Go. Yeah, that's oh, good. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You're slow. <laughs> there you go. Right? I'm done. You got that going for me. you. Also, one of my hairs is on your chin. I Stop. Don't How did it get so, there? I don't know. Stop. So Her sorry. hair gets everywhere, You must be man. downwind. We did I not hug today. Dude, no. the Roomba, it cries <laughs> every time. I don't know if we ever hugged. We had that one time where I thought you were hugging me and I had internal panic, but that was it. Oh, I just... What? <laughs> yeah. I stood up from my desk once and Lindsay looked like she'd seen a ghost. Because I thought he was going to hug me and get <laughs> Why would I do that? I can see how that would suddenly inspire awkwardness. Like, oh, oh, no, physical intimacy. I mean, maybe no, I, we're not okay with maybe this. Maybe if I come up like this. <laughs> yeah. You had a little bit of Jesus hands going on. No, I just... Bit, yeah. that's, that's, a, I mean, that's a stretch. That's right? how Gavin yeah. gets up. He usually just gets up yeah. in his chair like that. Yeah, I stood up and Lindsay was like, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> in like those four seconds in my head, I was like, do I hug him? Do I, do I not hug him? What do I do? Do I look Just at him? Just punch him and run. <laughs> Did you have like the over. whistle halfway to your mouth? Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> this episode, <laughs> sponsored by Movement Watches. Mm -hmm. Look, I've got a new one on. It's very nice. And I like it a lot. Add it on to and, the uh, too. I like yeah. the, uh, the black face with the black hands. It's it's nice. It's got black dark, and black is the fancy. Dark color brown color. strap. I mean, it didn't work out for Ted Danson, but sure. <laughs> Never mind. Dated joke. Yeah, you're old, right? Who is that? Now. That yeah, he's from Cheers. That. Oh, strong Thurman. So, oh, I had wait. I had I had something I, I wanted to fire off into. It's already not the beginning, so technically, is so it that's the fine. fact that we're like collecting empty bottles? It no. looks like why? I mean, that's Jeff. That's whenever Jeff's on the podcast. Most of those have stuff in it, like a little bit. I mean, when is Jeff not on the podcast, really? And right now, but now you've summoned him, so like Beetlejuice, he's be here, right? he will appear. Never in Worms, though. Never in worms, dude. Every time we film worms, let's play. Jeff's nowhere to be found. I got this uh, tweet from Joseph. Joseph A. Last week, and he said, "Next off topic, the new superhero movies this year. I'd like to know what you guys think, since movies are the intro. Because it was like three weeks in a row. The podcast started, and we were talking about oh. movies. Was Jack on? Jack was on. Time? Yep, Jack was on last week. And it's like we fade in, and it was like movie discussion." So it was relevant last week. That's but none yeah, of you which were on. The, it, originally, so. we were just I got into it. like yeah. IMDb screen. As he did. Like, he you know. he was on IMDb a fair amount. As someone who's into, like, I watch a lot of movies, mm -hmm. and I worked on some movies. Yeah, I don't like talking about movies. Yeah, yeah. It's like talking like, about work. It's boring. Hey, yeah. You yeah. found an accolade. Gavin Freak doesn't like talking about movies. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch one. I'll enjoy it. I'll give my opinion a little bit. We should add that but, like, as your deep credit movie discussion. is just like. Snooze Central. Come on, yeah, tell me what you Central. feel about the movie. Tell me what you really yeah, deep you inside. You I like into artsy discussions of like, yeah. ooh, the cinematography is so great, and like, look at this movement. Do you feel like you need to creatively redirect the film? Like, oh, they really could have used some different color there. No. I watch a movie, and my general um, like review is 
That, I like when that guy punched that guy. Mm -hmm. I like the explosions. Maybe if there's like a booby that comes out, that's a cool part. You know, Game of Thrones is nice. Like the early season when Khaleesi gets naked. It's like, yeah, good episode. You know, oh, guy got ripped in half. Mm. I'm okay with that. That's like yeah. my review. Like good American. movie, explosions. Liam Neeson kind of old. He's got an old man run going, you know, like taking three. He's like, <gasps> not a great part. The car falling down the elevator shaft looked like shit. Taking one, awesome when he shoots that guy's wife. Best part of the movie. Shoots the other guy in the like, back. Pff. That's cool. Yeah. That's my movie review. Taking one, go see it. He shoots yeah. some guy's wife. And see, then that, that's the, the kind the of movie review I can get on board with. Yeah. 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 One that fits into like a Snapchat. Well, Michael mentioned <laughs> that movies are ruined for him now because he just thinks about the other people on the opposite side of the frame, like the 20 crew members watching and observing and like doing sound and everything. So I don't yeah. know if it takes you out of I mean, it. It doesn't uh, ruin it, but I you definitely, it. after watching a movie once or twice, like I notice ADR more yeah. and shit like that. Think about how many people are on the set playing with their phones. Yeah. During each scene of a movie. Yeah, how many people on the set are just going, asshole, asshole, every time somebody else. Probably. Oh, man, that guy. Gavin's on set. Guy. He's, been, he's filmed a lot of movies, so he's probably heard asshole How many people are just over there, like, farting on the craft services table? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Because, I mean, you know. Does anyone do that? I bet somebody does. I'm somebody sure. farts on the craft Someone's services? Oh. I've walked into shots. I didn't want to be the one to tell you yeah. guys, but we were laser you team yeah. the whole time. Yeah. yeah. I ate that stuff, Ryan. Uh, people, I wasn't even in the movie. Sorry, people constantly farted. You were in the movie. For like a second. Was, was that Jeff's food. cameo? His farts <laughs> yeah, were on the food? Did you visit the set a single day? No, not a single time. Was it nice? It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. I put a fart in a jar and someone took it for me. <laughs> you sent it? You yeah. mailed it to the set. <laughs> oh, like Gavin's burp in a bag. You still have that? I don't know where it is. Oh. Still don't know where it is. Okay. It'll turn up. I bet it will. We got a. We got visited by the looks of it. Well, you don't call out the visitor, right? You just let the visitor visit. But now I, I, I don't want to know who it is. I'm not even looking. And now it seems like they've walked around the camera. Yes. Probably because you called them out. Are yeah. you following our eyeline as we You distracted them. them. No, I'm just chilling. We've summoned him. So my mother is leaving today. She's been with us for two weeks. Are you going to miss Denise? I'm going to miss a lot of the comfort she provided. Yes. Uh, you know, go home. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I said. You know, it was nice having you. It was a nice vacation. I'm the one that said she should stay for two weeks. She didn't come for a week. And I'm like, a week's going to go by in two seconds. Because we, we didn't even take any days off while she was here. So I was like, come for two weeks. She's like, okay. And two uh, arduous weeks later, you know, she's leaving. But I, I got... I noticed you yell at her quite a lot. It like, happens. Hey, yeah, but she yells back. It's not, she does. It's not yelling like normal people. It's not like it's I talk down to her and she's like, I can't believe her. And she leaves the room. I'm like, Denise, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about? Da, 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 da. And she goes, shut up. Oh, shut up. It's fine. Or it's she'll normal conversation. Or Gavin and be like, this piece of shit. Oh yeah, she does say that. She, she'll just be like, he's such an asshole. Well, Which calls your own son an, an asshole. I don't get offended. It's just like, hey, how are you? I'm fine. She has the right to, though. She birthed you. That's, That's a, true. Yeah. I flew her here. Fair enough. Her, uh, uh, what was more effort, do you think? What? Like her pushing you out? Or you... Buying a plane ticket. Well, I mean, we compare hours, like how many hours it took her to push me out to like hourly wage for me to buy the plane ticket. Were you, you know, a quick seat? I, I you probably, just like, no, yeah, I was no. the third. I walked oh, out. Yeah, okay, I was like an it. hour. Stargate. Yeah, it was just like, it was like, a, yeah, it was like, door was like, boop. I mean, it's still a lot of fun. And I just hour, came out. Not an hour it, even was it, to was it fun? Was it a fun hour or no? How long did it take to birth me? Denise. Five hours. Five, hours. Five hours. Jesus, you didn't stroll out. That's a stroll. What was what was, what was David? No. My friend, my oldest brother was eighteen Shh. hours. Don't say anything. Okay, five is a stroll. You okay, you go to Australia, <laughs> it takes you like twenty hours to get there. You go to LA, that's a stroll. That's just like an easy five hour ride. Ooh. His vision is based on liquor. Jeff, anything you no? Okay. <laughs> He's just you know finishing off the bottle. So collection. Gavin, you haven't been on in several weeks. What the fuck have you been doing? Yeah. How long did it take um, you to be born? Uh, I, I was the first, so I assume it was, wasn't as easy as my little sis. Right. I don't know where I've been. I've been traveling around. Like, right. How much you, damage did your nose do to your mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Like, like a car being scraped by a key the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a trench. <laughs> And then I like I came out. I was like, "Got the flag!" Oh, like, oh no! I dug some. She's like, got like a tissue. She's got there. like a permanent nose protrusion. Right <laughs> yeah, the doctor thought it was a hernia. <laughs> it was just me. Dug a nah, my nose actually wasn't that big vagina. when I was little. 
No? Like, supposedly it's like one of the things that keeps growing. Uh huh. And I'm only 27 or whatever. So right. We're, so in, we're in for a real so ride. strap in. So 27 or whatever. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> You're 27. <laughs> okay. That's it. Are you the oldest Ryan? Yeah, I'm well, I'm only by In the my... whole world, the oldest yes. Ryan? I'm in the Methuselah. World. Oldest Ryan. <laughs> 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 so it was hard for you to be shout out, too, I assume. I would imagine. I, you know, I never really, really nailed down the details on that. Like, hey, ask. mom, what, uh, what was that like making me happy? See, my family's weird, and we totally had those discussions because my mom had a miscarriage before me. So it's a whole family joke that like I killed that kid because I wanted, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be first. That's uh, that's that's real heartwarming. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. That's you, you all go. gather around it's at something... Christmas time. Like, remember how right. Lindsay ate her younger sibling, she older him. sibling. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's one of those things I walk into and she tells me, and I was like, that's fucking weird. I like the idea of an what? egg like emerging from the oval. Like, <laughs> no, get, get out of here. Couple yeah. couple years. You're not to be yeah. beforehand. I just Sarah Connored it. But because what's funny is with women, all the eggs are there, right? And yeah. They, yeah, they just slowly throughout time drop. So your earlier sibling must have just dropped, and you were. Like, you must have been their neighbor. <laughs> I'm chasing her. <laughs> yeah, 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 you like hunted her in. Yeah. And just, and it was she's like, like, a, like a hitman movie or something. I put my arms like this, and I went faster <laughs> as I fell. And yeah. then you just retreated back to your storage. <laughs> <laughs> point. Yeah, it's one and of those back things. Back to the ovaries. <laughs> it's like, just like, oh my god, no! If that just happened, but it happened. 20 years ago, so they're just like, well, I shit. fucking killed him. It's great. It's a funny joke. It's Stuff great. gets funny with time. Yeah, well, that was like my everything except the Holocaust. <laughs> it was like my mother. It's still not funny. Some would argue. I, I wouldn't be gleek. the one, but. Did you see that? I did. She's gleeking. She gleeked. My, uh, my mother was telling a story to Jeremy and his fiance. They were over one, one night for Swedish meatballs. She made, she made dinner and invited him over. And she's telling him the story about when my mother was young, I don't know, like seven or something like that, she had rabbits and they're just like little pens in the backyard. And the rabbits, I don't know how many they had, they had a few, but the rabbits had babies. But like a bunch of the babies uh, were just like malformed, you know, they, oh. weren't, they weren't born what? right. What? It's what? I don't know what to tell you. How, how else do you want me to say that? I can't get much yeah, more look, medical than malformed. Rabbits have medical. a lot of kids. If they yeah, didn't have, they have a few that come like out wrong, 50. then they'd be just overtaking yeah. yeah, then there's just like so a bunch of like. happen all the time in nature, like, yeah. 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 rabbits come yeah. out yeah. and die. The yeah. thing is, in rabbit society, Darwinism still works. So they usually just like let them die or they eat them. So the other rabbits eat the father. I generally, I guess. I don't know if it's like a, an effort. The mother's like, I'm full. You the, the dad's it, like, oh, I'll get this. Sorry, yeah, I'll clear yeah, this yeah, up. It's like, it's like the equivalent of like killing the bug. He's like, I'll I'll eat the fucked up baby. <laughs> so my mother was like, you know, the father started eating some of the babies. So we were like yelling and screaming and trying to pull him, trying to like pull him away from him. And Jeremy's fiance is like horrified just by this. She's yeah. like, oh my god. And she's like, the father's trying to eat the babies. But we're grabbing the rabbits and pulling them, and they started ripping in half in our hands. And my mother's telling her, like, so matter of factly, like, laughing about it, like, the rabbits are getting ripped in half, and the father's eating them, and they're all over, and we're yelling about it. And Jeremy's fiance is just like, she's literally covering her ears at one point. She was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My mother's like, ha <laughs> ha. Because it was, it was like 50 years ago. Yeah, I'm doing my best to keep the light too. I'm like, it was. Oh, what I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally yeah. like 50 years ago. So I'm just like, nice. you know, it's not like it happened yesterday. <laughs> but she, she was like laughing it up, telling a story. I had to, my, I have had to shield uh, some of our friends from my mother a few times. But last night, uh, Lindsay's cousin Catherine came over, who you've met, and uh, she definitely fits into the Austin crowd. And Denise is watching one of her medical shows. She watches like ghost shows, like shit like Mountain Monsters, monster shows. 600 pound life. 600 pound life, yeah. anything on TLC and like medical shows. And QVC. Where, and QVC and Home Shopping Network. But medical shows where they're like cutting people open, they show everything. You know, yeah. TV, you can't see anything. It's like, oh, it's just TV, you can't show it. Oh, it's medical? Yeah, sure, show their stomach getting cut open and their guts getting pulled out. And it's the, like tits on the news. Isn't yeah, it? the yeah. sensor bar they, they implement is like is it? a centimeter well, wide. Like, is, like if you're what? in a, like a, a news about like a tribe or something. It's just tits. Yeah, okay. that's, true. Yeah. that's yeah. true. No, they usually, they censor them up a little no. bit though. No, no, no. Not on like National are. Geographic, this is just No, titties. not on National Geographic. Yeah, I wouldn't qualify, I wouldn't say the news. Yeah, it's not like I'd say more like 
a documentary or something. Yeah. Ryan yes. didn't get excited in science class when they'd show the films and the, all the African tribes hanging out, their tits flapping. Yeah. I used to sit next to this guy at school. His tits flapped out? Uh, yeah. No, but he would always. <laughs> Weird. He would always hot. pass out, of, like blood or. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Or like, oh, okay, just, not like, like narcolepsy, watching, but just yeah, like, like Andy. But he wouldn't show any signs. Like we watched a woman give birth, uh -huh. and it was just like, ah, little, 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 little splash, you know, like what it sounds ripping. like. Accurate. And uh, I, I was, just, I always sit next to him because his last name was Fairy, and I'm free. And uh, he just used to go, <laughs> and just like <laughs> pass out. And he like, <laughs> wow, hitting his nose and so bleeding. Did you show you red versus blue? He did. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> <versus blue. laughs> yes, Fairy. Thanks, dude. But uh, yeah, and then we watched some other thing about. I, don't know, I think it was like about slavery or something. It was like kind of a movie, and people get like whipped, and then he passed out again. I was like, man, we got to prop this guy up during movies. Jesus, We're doing any you know? Was anyone stuff. at all concerned? Did they stop the movie? Or did just no. Did you no. wave it out? Like, uh, <laughs> no. This guy, uh... Just drag him out. He didn't like blood, but I totally forgot until you mentioned it. In fifth grade, we had one teacher who wanted us to like really get into history and experience it firsthand. She used to be a theater major. So she made us like march into class as if we were slaves and she just yelled at us the whole class like you get in your spot and like pretended to whip what? us. And we're like, I'm serious. I... And then we like lied on the ground in sorry manner and she just like went over us being like, you're all my slaves now. And I was like, that was my class. Wow. Yeah. I totally forgot about that until you mentioned that. Where I'm from, she wouldn't have made it home. Yeah. Thanks, Miss Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <Yeah>. Christ. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not even one of those, you know, you hear that shit from like your parents, maybe your grandparents, like, got my ass beat in school, yeah. you know, like got whipped with a ruler. That's years ago. You can't be doing that shit. Yeah. Then she took them out back and sold them to other teachers. <laughs> yeah. I started trading kids, you know. This one's good at math. Idiot. <laughs> Sucks at English. I went for a high price. Don't take him for English. Got a real strong yeah. arm though. I was pretty stocky, yeah. good at sports. <laughs> but no, but anyway, but Catherine came over and Denise is watching a show. It's the it's the beginning of the show. So there's they're showing like a montage of clips of what's in the episode, and there's some biker, like a bicyclist, in an accident, and their leg is like hanging off. Like, it's like 80% cut deep, and their leg's like, eh, like in the street. Oh, and Catherine's like, ah, 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 did we just, was that her leg? You can't show that. And Denise is like, oh yeah, her leg's hanging off. I seen this one. That's like usually what she says for everything. Like, oh, I seen this one. Well, that somehow downplays it for me. Thank you. I'm glad <laughs> that you've seen this one. So this leg is dangling off. And my mother just starts talking, but she doesn't take the cue at all that Catherine is like freaking out, like looking at it. She's like, one time I saw one. And she starts like trying to up that one immediately. I'm like, turn it off, turn it off, no, turn it no. off. And Catherine's like, uh. You can leave it on. I'm I'm I I'm just not gonna watch it. I'm like, just turn it off. Mm -hmm. And then I look at Catherine and go, I was watching this when I was eight. That's what I grew up with my mother, like watching the Tonight Show at eleven thirty-five when I was like nine years old and medical shows. I was the only nine year old that would go into school and I'd be like, Did you guys see the headlines last night? I love Monday nights. I love headlines. The stupid criminals. Were you right? tired at school? Right? No. I don't, I don't know. think I, I saw at eleven thirty five until I was like fifteen. I've yeah. always slept like six hours. Did you give it five, six hours? Growing up? Yeah, when I was in primary school, I'd be I never like had in bed one. by nine or ten. I had a bedtime until I went to college. I had Seriously? to be in bed by 10 or else you get my ass beat. Not like literally. But by the slave teacher. Yeah, Miss Rose right. would come in with that <laughs> fake whip. So when you went to college, were you like, <gasps> Oh, absolutely. Oh, world. Yeah, it was like junk she food. Had, she had pizza bedtime. at 10 p.m. Yeah. I was like, oh. Did you sit there watching it at like 11.59? You're like, it's about to be tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I did it. <laughs> See what happened. Dear diary, today I stayed up till midnight. It was great. Maybe soon I'll kiss a boy. I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't ever really fall asleep before midnight anymore. Between like 12 I and pass night. out. Yeah, we like, I don't do that. Really like, you're always I'm like, like you're always like both of you like falling asleep on your couch. And yeah, we do like our, shit. We're I awful. bought a comfy yeah. couch. Go to bed. <laughs> just go to, go, do you have a, just Couches like, are more fun than beds though. They are. More fun than beds? Yeah, no, I agree totally. because you're, you're like, you fall asleep on <laughs> the couch doing stuff. You know, you're like, yeah. eh, bed, you're just there to sleep. You know, bed is when you, where you go when you gave up. Right, the couch, the couch sneaks up on you and catches you. So then you wake up from a nap, and then it's like, oh, I need to go to bed because you're already sleeping. You yeah. go and finish the job. But if you go to bed, it's like I'm done for the night. It's over. If you're on the couch, you're like, I'll get ten more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine has left our house after we pass out. We wake up. I'm like, oh shit. One time, <laughs> one time, and this is a she rare. Just walks out the yeah, door. Like, I'm out. This is a rare <laughs> exception. But uh, Trevor came over, and we might have played with you. I can't remember, but it was one of the nights we actually played Destiny outside of work. And it was on the oh, weekend. Yeah. 
and we played the hard mode. I think I think we played hard mode. I can't remember if it was regular raid or not. But we got up to Crota and we couldn't fucking beat him. I think it was just regular. We Oryx. beat him. We, we yeah. Uh, sorry, Oryx. We already did the let's play with Panton and we beat him. But then we couldn't beat him there because somebody was like sh a shitty low level or something. Oh. And we ended up yeah probably. You yeah, had your awesome <laughs> headset. Um, but it was like two thirty in the morning and we finally gave up. And I remember us stop stopping playing, but we were still kind of like fucking around in the game, chatting for like five or ten more minutes. And then I just woke up the next day and I was on the floor in my living room. And Trevor texted me and he was just like, yeah, I tried waking you up um, and you wouldn't wake up. And I thought about like carrying you up to your bed. But I, thought, <laughs> I thought that'd be weird. So I just left you on the floor. Good and man. I was like, no, you're good. I'm good fine. Yeah. Good I was choice. like, yeah, you're yeah. fine. It's, it's, I'm in the middle of the living room in my house. I mean, if you're going to leave me on the floor, it's fine. I can imagine you waking up as you've been slung over Trevor's <laughs> right. shoulder. It's just yeah. like, the, what the heck? Yeah, I would just be like, <laughs> but what are you doing? He was, he was, I do this shit like all the time. He came over yesterday and we were like talking about what, whatever. We were in the kitchen and I was handing him a drink and we were in the middle of conversation. Like, I'm pretty sure he didn't even hear me say it. But we were in the middle of talking about something. He's like, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. oh, cool, thanks. And he, like, grabbed something from me, whatever. I was like, huh, don't touch me. Anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't, you don't need to carry me. You don't need to carry me upstairs. That was every interaction ever with Kara. I would see her every single day. And it's like, she's, like, the world's biggest hugger. She like, hugs everybody. It's like, I haven't seen you in an hour. And every time, she'd run up to me and go, oh, right. You don't like hugs. No, he doesn't. And I'm like, I... You work four feet away from me. Why the fuck would I hug you? We went to Australia, right, for RTX Australia, and we went and we were in the lobby, and everybody started showing up the day we got there, like Funhouse and and you know everybody from Rooster that was there, and everybody's hugging each other, and I'm just like Funhouse yeah. super hugging. I'm the Funhouse hugs Which is all funny, the time the because hugs. I told Michael like, like stereotypically like, that's a, a female thing is what I've experienced. Or a lot of girls thing. like it could be LA. Like, I, don't I don't know. know. I guess yeah. it's like distance based hugs. It's like I we guess. see each other all the time, a, but we've mm. never been this far. Exactly what I said. I was like. I don't hug you when I see you at work. Why would I hug you in Australia? We both came from the same place. I just saw just you. Just give a nice head nod. I'm not gonna hug you. Fuck off. Don't touch me. <laughs> it's like, you hug people you haven't seen in forever, or like they're leaving, you know, maybe I'll give Denise a handshake when she leaves. I will say, you know, I, pat her on I the always back. hug COVID though. It's like a thing. Yeah. 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 hug COVID. Well, you're into like that. Well, I mean, everyone hugs COVID. He seems like he hugs like he means it too. So yeah, when you're in there, you're does. like, oh, yeah. this was worth he it. He also seems yeah. like, I don't know if this happens with you, but every time COVID hugs me, he leans in and he's like, can I be an achievement hunter? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you just just move here. And he's like, I, I hate them all. Yeah. Michael says, says that every yeah, time. you can. Just lean down a little bit. A little more, Adam. Now you can be Yeah, just five more <laughs> feet. So I'm like, just lean down a little more, Adam. <laughs> Go full 90 degrees. Also, when you hug Adam, you're only one hug separated from hugging Jessica Chobot. So yeah. I'm just putting that out there. It's true. I didn't one even know that away. was a stat. One lick That's, away. Uh, it is now. Because <laughs> he I, hugged her. I assume, yeah, that was going to make yeah. a guess. He hugged At the Rainbow Six event. Jessica Did Chobot. you not hug her? I'm, I'm nothing to just. Uh, so he, he couldn't even make words. It's like so she's the CEO of the company. Like she's so far God. away from I'm me. Just picturing a movie she's your moment. boss's boss. Yeah. 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 Where she walks by Ryan, and he goes, and then says nothing. He just sadly looks <laughs> at the ground. I d dude, I didn't even know that was her. Like we were leaving, and somebody's like, "Oh, right, right, Jessica Chobot." I'm like, "That was Jessica Chobot." <laughs> I didn't even see her that long to know that it was her. They were like, all right, the real celebrities are coming in. Let's get this filth out of here. Everyone just uh, get these losers out of here. Scum, they actually please? hosed it yeah. down after we walked on it. Did you do the same when you first saw Lori? You were like, pretty good. <laughs> well, not going to talk to you. Actually, the, first <laughs> yeah, time, like, the answer is yes. You nailed it. The first time I saw Lori, I had to defend her from a flying mouse pad. So oh, that's it? if oh. you if you got to win, look, oh. if you got to win a girl over, taking a mouse pad in the chest for no, her. Ryan, you, pretty it's the way to do it. You hire the mugging. And then you stop yeah, it. You're pay like, someone I'll fight to you. fling a mouse pad at her so you could be her savior. Yeah, look, that's what I was did. too young to be that savvy. He's Later a, in life, I learned that. He's lesson. such a PC nerd. He's like, I'll hire someone to steal her CPU, <laughs> and then and then I'll, I'll swing in. I'll prevent them. I'll, I'll take out half her RAM. <laughs> wait, don't install that software. It's a virus. He just hands her a floppy disk and it's like, will you go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> no lie, I did at one point make an AOL uh, web page for her though, with all the yeah, animated games Ryan, and did you shit. Make, like, did you make one of those like Cl Clarissa Explains It All yes, games? Yes, kind of like that. Like, yeah. doo -doo -doo -doo. And it's like, hey, Ferg face, get across the road. <laughs> and it's just like, Lori's head on something going like this. So how old were you when you did when you saved her life from the mouse pad? I mean, it was, a, yeah, I was 15, I, I think. I heard 15 Damn, earlier. dude, she could have been yeah. killed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, Who's it was dangerous. Who's throwing mouse pads? Dude, Why? fucking Brad. Brad. <laughs> Brad, Brad from Georgia. 
He's throwing mouse pads. It's true. That's how it went down. It's in the library. There was a mouse, there was a, a violent mouse pad war going on. It went down at the library. Yeah. The Georgia State Library. I like that's where you first met Lori, too, was in the library of all places, of course. Well, I mean, she was only one grade above me at school. So, oh, I mean, damn, I'm sure I'd seen her. Damn. Like six months, yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm sure I'd seen her before because it was not a big school. But that was like the first time I. It was you saw her, her in Brad. I like that you went like this. I saw saw there was, her. No, was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Which maybe explains out? why like uh, yeah, too. dating for me wasn't that big thing. She ever hit you? <laughs> Dude, she hit me yesterday. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Well, now that's fine. You're Fucking married. Meg hits Ryan. I've seen <laughs> it. I'm very hittable. <laughs> I don't hit you, Ryan. I've never, never hit, hit you. you. I mean, I've yeah. thrown shit at you and it's hit you, but. That's true. Yeah. Even that's like 50 50. You got a really bad. I just verbally berate you. You and Meg tried to hit me on the patch yesterday. You both whiffed. Look, honestly, ever since I smashed the hourglass, I'm a little bit nervous. I can about tell. <laughs> I can like, feel yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you aim so wide at the hourglass now. I've still got that hourglass on my desk. I parts of it. Yeah, well, the parts that are big enough to, you know, not cut. Andy, up. Andy packed that for you. Yeah. I was gonna say. I you remember. You say that like you did some kind of work. We had to move that over for you. When yeah. We, when we moved from here, stage five, over to the other building we're in now, that's when Andrew was here as an intern. And because he spent like, ha it was actually funny, it was like perfect down the middle. Half the time, he was here for like six weeks. The first three weeks, we were in stage five, and uh, Lindsay and I, we were at our apartment. And then we moved offices right as we moved into our house. So then the second three weeks, like the second half of his trip, he was in our house and the new building. So it was great because we made him carry all the shit over. <laughs> Twice. It, yeah, him and like Caleb, he moved everything. Um, and he got to your desk and he was like, should I just. <laughs> throw this stuff out like it's just broken glass all over his desk. I, mean, he's uh, I got the no, that's the hourglass. He broke that. Just throw it in there. And he goes, okay. And he literally <laughs> goes like this and throws it in your box on top of tons of stuff. Like he had fully loaded a box of stuff and then wiped all the glass on top of it. So anything in that box is a potential trap for you to grab. But you still have it. Yeah. Like I know it's in there. Is the queen stuff. still there? Um, I think her legs are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the waving queen. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was a solar game. powered queen. Which actually the like first the real thing queen, I got, like, actually. The week she is solar powered. Yeah. Mm. The week I moved here, I think someone sent me the queen, and then it broke immediately. And then someone who got me a, a replacement one. Someone was it did. a fan? Didn't they buy yeah. a new one? I thought. And then that one broke. I obviously. can't remember Just anything on my desk. If by the way, if you ever send me something, don't expect it to ever last because people will smash all the stuff. But. When it becomes smashed, it'll become a smashed part of achievement. Yeah, I mean, yes. I'll absolutely still keep it. Also, just, sometimes some you are the people. I was gonna say, Gavin is usually the culprit. Oh, golf right. I just smashed my own stuff. Golf club. I broke the golf, golf club. club. Uh, you and that again, was Andrew helped out. Yes. You and Andrew the broke, broke the golf club, just uh, like you, know, you and Andrew broke my fucking toilet. Well, I'll Ryan's take, I'll take responsibility for the golf everyone. club, but I did not break the toilet. Here's up. what happened, right? <laughs> Gavin and Andrew are over our apartment. I use the bathroom. Flush works fine. Andrew goes in, Gavin goes in. I go to use the, not at the same time. Uh, just later <laughs> that day. Holding hands. Yeah. yeah. I go in later, the toilet doesn't work. And it's like, who broke it? Oh, I didn't. And they both just point and, to each yeah, other. Yeah, they're like, like, he did. No, he I did. went in before him and it broke <laughs> after me. It's clear. If, if, like, two little kids. I mean, How Michael's I description flush? says that Andrew went in first. I, he, no, no, no. I, can't, I didn't keep track. I wasn't uh, like, you peeing? <laughs> you? I'm keeping my eye on you. You better not break my toilet. Yeah, that's a I responsible first, host I job. I flushed all of my piss away. Yeah. He didn't piss on my piss, so it, it was, was him. It was the thing where like, I went to flush and it it was loose, Ching. you know? So I figured, oh, the, the chain came off the little plunger rod. So I take the lid off and it's just broken. Like it literally, the plastic was broken. I had to buy a new one. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you can't. Super glue it back on there. You know, get a rubber super band. Super glue it. It's like yeah. a seven cent piece, Ryan. Come on, you can right. ma MacGyver that back together. Super, well, super glue. I'll MacGyver, MacGyver the super it. glue in the water. MacGyver. Yeah. Fucking with that chain in the toilet bowl is like the most annoying thing in the world. You just yeah, get that is. gross toilet water everywhere. Yeah. Pisses me off. Well, that's the, the clean water. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Not dirty. It's, you can it's, drink it's, that yeah, in, the, in case of an emergency. It's not dirty. No. It's like stagnant. It's sitting in a toilet bowl. Look, the water you don't want to drink is the stuff in the bowl. Yeah, but the shit in there. Have you, have you looked at the parts in that tank? They're all rusty and old nah, and shit. It's still like, potable. That's, yeah, go ahead and drink the fucking water in the top hey. of your toilet yeah. tank and tell me that's as good as tap water. You say that now. When all the shit goes down and the world turns off, you'll be drinking that toilet I'm water. not saying I won't when the world is fucked up. I'm saying it's not perfectly good water now. Yeah. You wouldn't be like, well, I'm already in the bathroom. I'll just scoop it out. Down. But I think it is. 
It's it is. No, I think because it's, it recycles so often, there's not really anything that's like it, it, here, stagnant. Let me, or, let me put this in. Okay. There might be some gammy rust, right? But it's not coming off in the water. But if it's so if much you have a, a something, I don't know, a piece of metal, yeah. like whatever, it's just like twice the size of a quarter, and it's rusted the shit, and you put it in an empty glass and then filled that glass with water, would you drink it? Well, if you do that a hundred times, I'd probably drink it on the hundredth go. Well, you think it's cleaner by the what? end of that? Yeah. What do you mean? Because he's saying he's wash it off. Oh, yeah, because it's like, oh, it's like oh, more yeah. and more comes away until it's like, oh, there's not really anything coming off in yeah, it. Yeah, but not, but it's not, but it's not coming off because the rust is like always building. Because it's in the water. It's not like the rust is getting clean. If that were the case, it wouldn't be there to begin with. The rust wouldn't be there if flushing it washed it away. I feel Let like me ask you this. Yeah. Would you open the back this of your is a toilet? very good conversation. Put in a cup. Oh, hey, flush this the is toilet. survival skills. Also, literally last week's episode is named Human Toilet Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> last week. Sorry, go ahead. So would you get a glass in the back of your uh -huh. tank, flush the toilet and just fill from there? All the way up? Or does I it mean, come from the bottom? Is it like come in like this? Or like, it, oh, I think it comes from the bottom. I, I think know. it goes from the bottom. It comes from the bottom it, and it fills up. It comes up. And then, yeah, there's, that's how it, it turns fills up. Off. Yeah, and then it pushes that like little... Even if it came from the side, yeah. it could still... It pushes well, that it little goes down, buoy right, thing. Yeah. Yeah. And when the buoy gets high enough... <laughs> 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 I like how he laughs every time. He's like... Buoy. Funny way of saying it. Buoy. Yeah, you're in America. Words are different. Buoy. Yeah, but you still say buoyancy. That's what doesn't make sense. Is it a buoy for you? Yeah. Oh, nice. You didn't say buoy and see. No, that would be stupid. Yeah. As long as there's not an upper decker in that toilet, you can drink that water. Seems like that would make for a lot of confusion, yeah. though, because you would be like, oh no, there's a buoy out in the ocean. Honestly, You're like, shit, we need to save him. But honestly, no. Honestly, whenever I heard that there's like buoys out there, I'd be, I was confused. Is it <laughs> <laughs> you call it a buoy? Wait, 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 wait. Are you like sexually confused? Or are you like, oh, like, hey, oh yeah, let me swim my out there? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Do you need mouth to mouth? <laughs> Boom. I will save you. Boom. I'm giving it CPR. The bell's just going crazy. <laughs> Seagull's like, what the fuck are um, you doing? So like, yeah. In, again, going back to a scenario of would I for a bet or a challenge? Sure, I would drink the water out of a toilet. But again, I would never compare it to. It's just as good. It's not. I it's mean, definitely it's a downgrade. It's, it's like, way way better you, than the stuff in the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll agree with you on that, but it's like you couldn't drink the prop toilet goop in Fallout because it was in a toilet bowl. A, it was a clean toilet bowl. A, it was gammy anyway. It was like prune juice and prune, prune juice, juice and like great. and like it was prune and juice D, and like chocolate. There something. were bits of paper. Flakes falling. Well, in it. every take there were more and more. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I, yeah, okay. I was, uh, <laughs> I had my I leg tied it. up because Meg fucking bashed it in like a crazy bitch. <laughs> and, uh, so I had it like, Ga Gavin, she hit his arm. So it was like, oh no, my arm's like this. And he had it taped. I had my leg like taped back to myself. Did you see so it, it was did, hard yeah. as shit to stand. So I kept standing in there and using the wall for support. And the toilet bowl was new. They made it look old, obviously. It was new, and the liquid in it was a liquid that we produced. So it was all clean and stuff. Not from my body. All right, don't say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the liquid that we, Rooster Teeth, prop department, produced from their penises was right, clean. Right, got it now. Uh, but every take we do it, I'm leaning against the wall and I'm scraping the wall and I can see chunks of the wall paint falling into the toilet. And the building was all, it was probably lead. It was like a billion years paint. old. It, it was, I think it was wall poison is what <laughs> it was made out of, okay? And after the third or fourth take and Gavin's like, he was already clearly, his gag reflex was kicking in. Yeah. I'm like, you might want to stay away from this side of it because I am knocking paint chips into that. Like, <laughs> I know it's a joke, like it's a joke that we're drinking toilet water, but it's not really toilet water, but there's paint in it. Yeah. But seriously, it's <laughs> going down. <laughs> it's part of it mental too, like if that were in a cup and not in a toilet bowl, Yeah, absolutely. The fact that, yeah, yeah. that I scooped it Well, that's what I'm bowl. saying. Yeah. So I doubt you of all people would be able to scoop water out of a toilet bowl and drink it. So that- A working toilet, you there's no the, way. No, I wouldn't. You've seen would, the restaurant in Japan, have, right? Where they just, everything is soft serve, like it, it's like, in toilet bowls, it's all made to look like poop. Poop, yeah. I've oh, seen the poop. I've not yeah. seen that. No, yeah. you've not seen this. No. We've yeah. got to find a picture of this. But oh. yeah, there's, there's like a restaurant that it's like all of their food is poop themed. I have an awesome. amazing follow up. And You're people like going and eating fake poop. Yes, yeah. poop is funny. Was that Poop's that funny. restaurant we went to? By the way, that sushi place that we went to. You know, yeah. you went with Meg and not Gavin. Yes. Um, that, if I recall, just because you started talking about, it, you did go two nights in a row. Uh, thanks for inviting us on the second night. Yeah, well, uh, I, well you invited us the first night, restaurant but. auto yeah. Um We almost you sat on the nap. we almost <laughs> sat on the floor of that place. That was like you know, a, we made a reservation. They had a like, well, like Japanese seating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all. It, it's like ooh, it's also you know it's stylistic. It's Japanese. Yeah. Da, da, da. 
And we don't gotta buy no fucking tables. <laughs> Go sit on the floor. Even more sit so on than the floor. That, that has a table in front of you still. You're sitting on the floor, but there's a table. There are restaurants where they'll put your food on the floor, like designated areas. I would've areas. done it. Like yeah. you said, we eat, made the reservation like for dog. that. Yeah, but you when do. We, when we got there, they had a table. And we're like, I oh, we'll think that's hygienic. Table. That's what, probably not. Well, well, imagine like, closer? imagine the door opens, right? Gust of wind comes in. Dust? Just crap from people's yeah, shoes. True. Blow Ho- in hey, your hopefully food. it's away from the door. What if someone farts yeah. in that restaurant and their poop fumes land on your food? Well, farts go up, don't they? Do they? Do farts know. rise? Are oh, farts hot? I don't know. Heat yeah. rises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, farts, yeah, farts are hot than that. <laughs> Like, but, can we get a thermal but, camera and see where it goes? But does yeah, the fart should. go up and then it's like, <laughs> and then it falls when it cools? Guys, Guys, the fart fart went. All right, hang on. I found something worse than what I was looking for. What's oh, up? I found real poop. Didn't uh, grossest restaurant ever. There's a uh, Jap- Japan's Poo Curry Cafe. They make a curry that tastes like poo. Why? What does poo it's taste not even like? Making, yeah. They're not even going for the look now. They're actually serving something that's supposed like to taste like Why don't you just serve shit? Too. I just mean, serve it. Just serve shit. And I'm eat in the that. internet hole. Would so a poo I can't taste different <laughs> depending on the different person? Like, yeah, I mean, you're getting red, dude. Like my poo's not gonna taste the same as Michael's. Poo. I mean, it's entirely yeah. dependent on what you eat. Right? Yeah. What is poo flavor? I hear you flavor. should go for uh, <laughs> lots of pineapple in your diet. Yeah, uh, that apparently makes you taste. Look, and they down they there. sell it poop in like flavor. I think that only they, affects cum. It well, that apparently. That's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> they they serve it to you. In, good job. They serve it to you in like a Japanese style urinal, like the little squat holes, you know. Yeah. I just give it to you in there. Awesome. Squirrel. There it is, there it is. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would, so I would it looks like a food bit, in a yeah. toilet bowl, <laughs> what is, if Ryan is displaying to I'd us. I'd still eat so. it. Oh, look, he's real bit. proud of it. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is the guy yeah. showing off shit in a bowl. It looks like he's showing his baby to someone. Like, I'm so proud of I did of it! <laughs> <laughs> Something similar, and not food related, but similar, I just discovered was a thing yesterday. Her cousin, I think Kazan was telling us about it. Or maybe, maybe it was, um... Trevor and Emily were telling us, maybe that was it, they were telling us about it. There is a demand and a service people offer, they said on Craigslist, is where they saw oh, it. Oh, yes. Where yeah. people, people will offer to be your sitting, like, decorate decorative elf in your house for money. Yeah. Like during elf on the holiday. Yeah. Elf, on elf on a shelf. shelf. There's a photo of a guy, it's like a big ass shelf, it's like a, it's like a uh, mantle on a fireplace, mm-hmm. but it's like, Oh, probably like half the width of this table, so yeah. it's enough for someone to sit on. And it's just a dude sitting on it like mm. this for a hundred dollars an hour. That is creepy. For a hundred dollars oh, an hour yeah. in your fucking first house. Just explain Elf on a Shelf to Gavin because apparently that doesn't exist in the UK. Well, well you explain. Might, uh, All right. What is that? Apparently, there's a thing that kids at Christmas do in America. I don't know everywhere else they do it, but they just have a sh- an elf that like floats about the house yeah. during the night, and he goes into different locations the parents are moving. I don't know why you're well, saying, yeah, like, it's... shock, you've known this for years, because because we do it every I time know, you go I'm home. I know, I'm saying. It's for totally. For anyone else who out there is watching, for the kids, like, yeah. like for my nephews, they <laughs> no have an elf around it. the house, he shows up like a week or two before Christmas. Chippy, the elf. There he is, that's Chippy, <laughs> yeah. the elf on the shelf on yeah. the right. Mine yeah. is Chippy yeah. too. So yeah. Chippy on the right, the doll that you place in your home, you know, like a normal human being, uh, the guy on the left being the man you pay to sit in your home for the pedo- hours. The pedophile to you pay. Frighten the shit out of your children while the guy just sits there and God. looks at Look. you. It's like, don't worry, kids, he won't say anything. But he is watching and listening to everything you say. They're just and taking do. it to the next level. That's all Chippy is to begin with. That's He's a fucking extortion crazy. racket. Where he sits in your house and what the, the shtick is. Yeah. Every morning, the kids right. go run and they, and they look hide it, him. and you have to hide. He's in a different place every time. That's yeah. how they know that he yeah. left. He moves yeah. he magically. Moves. Right. Yeah. No, no, it's because overnight, what he does is he goes back to the North Pole and reports on all the shit oh, see, they did. Oh, see, this is a whole other level that we have. Well, it's yeah. no, he has to fly back. Yeah. yeah. So no, he goes back, tells Santa all the shit that the kids did, <laughs> right? And then he comes back, and then they <laughs> know that he did that because he's in a different place. Right. It's also a good way, like leading up to Christmas, but better not be a piece of shit. Chippy's watching. Chippy's gonna narc on you. Oh, what? Oh, the big man's gonna hear. Oh, you're not eating. You're not eating what? I guess he's gonna tell Santa. What if this? And the worst part is I did that. that. Like, That's exactly what I said. I yeah, it's the like, first thing I said. Like, what if he's got to take a shit? Or he's Mommy, I'm in the toilet. Chippy's in there right and, now. Wait for him to come out. And because. They specifically mentioned one of them was a dude, one, another photo was a dude sitting basically like Spider-Man style on their, on like a, uh, an island counter. And I'm like, that's the dump pose! Like, if you sit like that long enough, your bu- you poop will just come out! That was like when you had the toilet bowl as your yeah, seat, maybe and you were poop. sitting on it, and you're like, I, I can't sit on this because poop's gonna come out. It's just like, the position I'm in, like, that's why toilet bowls are designed like that. Your body just starts going like, oh, yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta push poop out of me. If your anus is lower than your leg joints, yeah. your knees, it maybe. just like sits like so, this, so the guy, dude, makes you poop. Same this with breathing, like, apparently. 
Oh, this is a sturdy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, got yeah you got it. I'll go for it. Thanks, Marcus. So he's doing this. Watch it. On their like <laughs> something, something like this in their living room. <laughs> I think we both did it at the same time. Yeah, you both went for my anus. We all know. Okay? All right, let's be honest. How do you not shit like that? This is basically just like the the Christmas version of Scared Straight, right? It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's in the house <laughs> okay. he's watching you. Chippy just stands by your bed. And he's I'm not even gonna tell Santa. I'm, he's just gonna do something he about would it himself. Scare me straight yeah. though. A hundred bucks an hour. Well, I mean, I'm sure it varies, but that was one well, of so the we going rates. About, we understand the people doing this. Like, obviously, if you're paid that much to just sit there, what? That was the first thing I said. I'm like, dude, doing that, totally get it. And the guy's like, whatever, yeah, it's cool. a job. People spin signs, also, they dress up in stupid costumes. Extra 20 costumes. bucks for oral. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he talks. Yeah, oh, no, okay. yeah. I, I, I got it. I feel like you'd lose money if you talked, though. Chippy got that's, thick That's cheeks. a bad L. Is it worse yeah. if they're like, Chippy, hi, how are you? And he's just like. No, yes. the, you, like, get, you get, you get, Brian, you get paid extra if you can twinkle in your eye no. when oh. they talk to you. If your eye can go, you th they it's actually extra. implant a little thing. They just like well, the sh well, like, the good shelf elves do. Okay, the ones that keep getting work. It only works a few times before it starts <laughs> shutting <laughs> out. <laughs> and your eyes you, like, start, <laughs> you start smoking. <laughs> but I could totally see people doing that for a job. Who the fuck would pay for that? Like, White who would people. want That's that? Well, I think That's you've creepy. Just, I think you've just decided what we're gonna do for the Christmas episode. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh my god! god. That's, oh. It's, it's a we long should. ways away. Yeah. Again, well, we can start saving up now. We'll start a little ch tip jar. See? Maybe your swear jar can pay for it. It already has paid for it, but it hasn't because I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna pay. <laughs> I don't I have that kind of. It'll also keep the, uh, the link to the episode under control because they're like, well, we can't afford for Chippy. It's yeah, true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, I think one episode. You should pick it in advance. Episode fifty. You should pay your swear jar that episode. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that will not be swearing. That <laughs> I'd want a celebrity elf on a shelf for off. Yeah. Like yeah. we have Danny DeVito Farrell? just sit there okay. or something. Yeah. Well, we'll fair. No, Danny something. DeVito, you don't get in the studio and not say anything. Okay. <laughs> That's the art of it. It's wasted gold. That right? is absolute. I would just be like, just, just talk, just make fun of me. Talk or he'd be naked. Say something. Just I always breathe. thought if he I probably yeah. be. if I have had a chance to have like a mega celebrity in a slow guys, I would. Steve Oh, I had I had Steve I guess. I would want him no, just you to No, you did. You did have him. I would want him just to be like way in the background, like out of focus, just stood there like, and like Like Bob Hill. Like, hey, what do you guys care yeah. into? <laughs> yeah. And then like the next shot he'd be gone. And people would be like, man, that guy in the background looked like I'm with Gavin. Ricky that's Gervais. Was that and I'd be like Clooney? I'd be like, it was. <laughs> just like a total waste. But that's funny to me. I would totally do that with a celebrity. I hear Gervais actually responded to you on Twitter. I hear he did again. Yeah, he tweeted. I mean, I don't look at Twitter. So many, yeah. so many, it's just like so many comments in this podcast. Like, hey, I've heard this happen. I'm, like, well, it did. Well, it did. <laughs> I'm giving he, him wiggle room. He did reply. I saw the tweet. It Maybe happened. Maybe it turned out it wasn't Ricky Gervais. Ryan looks at Twitter, but only because you told us at RTX that you have notifications on your phone for when Meg tweets you. I have you notifications yeah. for. Well, no. Sometimes it works with other people too. Now I'm oh, really yeah? confused. Like I, sometimes you will come through. I, I think, think verified maybe it's people but break. Through it's verified, and it's also. Twitter, if you have the Twitter app, it will just decide when enough like analytics come through. They're like, this is relevant to you. Like if a huh. bunch of people that you follow all yeah, like a photo. Is. Right, a bunch of yeah. people that I follow. Well, yes. I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, Ryan, that's just how it works. It'll be like, oh, so-and-so like this photo. And then I'll always open it and go, I don't give a shit. And then close <laughs> it because it doesn't relate to me in any way. It's just three people I follow happen to like it. Do you think you'll ever be verified on Twitter? Oh, Maybe. No. no. I don't say it enough. like that. I tweeted Because he's going to make an effort if he wants that, yeah, right? I tweeted Do you, do you want, want it like... for him? No. Oh. Yeah, he well, he should. Should. Nice. You can join the group. <laughs> it's well, funny. We need Jeremy on there, too, if that's Oh, okay. Jeremy. Well, no, no. Yeah. I, Lil J. Now, if Jeremy gets verified, then I have to be verified. Well, Lil J. No, it, just, it just has to happen. It's no. funnier if you're not there. <laughs> it really is. It is funnier. I tweeted Ryan like two weeks before we had that conversation no. at RTX, and I was like, I tweeted at you, you will not reply to this tweet. And More so far, people should have uh, proved it. it. <laughs> you should have gotten like Meg to retweet it, and then I would have seen it. Yeah, oh, there you go. I think you've tweeted me once, and you flubbed it. Uh, Yeah, but I had a good turn on that. You had a good turn? Yeah. Do you not see the follow up? You meant know, to say turny. It? Also, you have a giant, like, uh, eyebrow, eyebrow hair. hair, just like. What is one That's eyebrow actually Lindsay's hair. It's working. Yeah. It's actually down. one it eyebrow be... hair that is the length of my entire eyebrow. Oh, yeah? And people, <laughs> people keep trying to pull it out and cut it. I'm like, let it grow. Let it I want to see if it actually extends. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> no, it's just one. And it's gray. Do you want to connect it to your beard and have it make like a full circle? You're going to have like a fucked up, like. You're going to have a fucked up, like, Michael Imperioli eyebrow. Who's that? Uh, Christopher from The Sopranos. Oh, I didn't see it. Mm. Sorry. Michael's from Jersey. Yeah. He has to watch The Sopranos. By the way, can I we stop calling misspellings flubs? 
That's a yeah. totally different oh, dude, issue. That's a, that's a, I only said that because flubs. you flub when you speak, and it's like, oh, you flubbed the tweet. Well, now you've really just fucked over all of Twitter, because now that's <laughs> they're all that's all it's all flubs. It's like, no, that's that's a misspelling. We already have a word. It's a typo. We already have a typo. Sure. Yeah. I've been flubbing a lot at home, and I blame you. I've been flubbing constantly. Yeah. What was that thing you were sticky. reciting before we started? The Pirates, Pirates of Pendulum. Oh yeah, yeah. And I am the very model of a modern can't do it at the same time. Uh, Shut the hell up and let Ryan. <laughs> no, go for it. She's no, got, no, it. got the rest. I just can't remember. No, I don't remember Why the rest of it either. Why don't we just go one than the other? So you messes up. I, oh, oh, I am sure. the very model know. of a modern major general. Was it? I have information, animals, both vegetable and mineral. And that's like the that, only yeah. line I know. Cool. Nobody <laughs> fucked it up. You said something about. I know the equations, equations both mathematical and quadratical. quadratical. Yeah. Guys, yeah. it was great before we started filming. <laughs> trust me. That was that was it. We just kept doing the same line over and over because that's all we knew. I'm glad you brought that back, Gavin. You're like, gotta save this for the pod. Gotta. It's a very model of a modern major general. I think I think to be fair, you were fooled by how much he was going do 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 beforehand. You thought you thought they were words. No, no, they were not. You just described how rappers have their career. They're like, oh, I thought that was cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Ryan never did musical theater either. You're straight theater. You're Shakespearean man. Straight well, theater? Straight, yeah. Look, the, There's well, probably some then, homoerotic stuff in there. Shakespeare. Relatively like, speaking. That's, yeah. I do heterosexual theater only. Mm. That's it. Would you do- Which uh, is probably not a lot of theater. You've done like straight makeout stuff. Yeah? In a movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should do gay shit. Yeah. What's gay shit? Just making out with a dude. Straight make out with you a dude? And, sure. You and Michael haven't made out, but you've done pretty damn much everything mm. else. No! <laughs> you always say that! That sounds so bad! No, it doesn't! No! You're like, you've done, pr I mean, like, pretty much everything. I flicked his dick! Like, how is that anywhere? My face has never come near your face, and it never will, well, you unless I'm giving done, you, like, a headbutt or something. You've done, That's like, about a, it. a tongue poke. Oh, not with your tongue, but Whoa. with your finger, like with oh, your tongue yeah. coming out at the same time. Don't what? don't say what? that. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm what, trying. What, what you I'm trying poke? to defend our situation here, and you're saying I tongue poked your dick. You well, I had your tongue out while you put my dick. That's very <laughs> different. It's okay? very different. That's like you a, made it sound like he was docking with his tongue that, and, in your dick. And hole. you damn well know the tongue comes out because you can't just go. Yeah. The tongue adds. Yeah, if you, if you touch I mean, it's for the penis sound effect. like this, if I was just like doing this to your penis. And Whoa, just looking that's you in the eye. Whoa. Yeah, but if I make it, a I'm thing married, and I'm like, <laughs> then I'm like, that's content. You, Gavin. There you go. Stop it, you. I don't think it works that way. No, it no, does. That's still foreplay. I, like when you I, try I to think what happens is Ryan is that you, you're jealous. You don't have that with a man. Dude, Maybe. I kissed a guy on stage. Yeah, and he liked it. What show was Taste it? Taste his cherry chapstick. I was nice. playing a gay doctor. Nice. Mm -hmm. We did do the uh, the old thumb over the mouth thing. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> you lame. bitch. Yeah, you bitched out. I did. How old were you though? Theater. Uh, 19? Yeah, that, oh, that's lame theater. That's why yeah, though. No. That's why. They're I like, made oh, out no. with someone oh. when I had the flu. And I, mean, I threw up backstage and then came on stage and we both kissed each other. We've both been throwing up all day and then we left stage and threw up again. If it helps, I don't think I ever got to do like a good stage kiss with a girl either. Yeah? Yeah, no, no. I, they, they got like one little peck once. I have a it. sex... Sex scene, I'm dressed, but it's like on YouTube and stuff. My own. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking face. <laughs> It's like it's a play when they're like, time to, time to do the sex act now, and yes. then the blanket comes over, and, and it's I'm like fully clothed. Yeah, <laughs> it's like oh my. Oh. Did you get some of this action? Yeah, and then some he was like, the I hope that was that yeah. this sound action. Too. The gayest man I've ever met in my life. He was like stereotypically, he was totally like, let's do this. I'm like, all, all right, right, cool. Yeah, you hop on in here and pretend to fuck me. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> His biggest concern, actually, he actually had a conversation with Lindsay. He's like, I want to make sure. Nothing accidentally happens. It's cool. If you slip in, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Fucking <him>. like <laughs> through the pants. He's worried that suddenly, in the midst of this, he will become straight. <laughs> and penetrate hey, you. Don't scare the gay at him. <laughs> I'll be mad. If anyone's gonna do it, it's me, right? Do you think <laughs> she's pretty manly? I don't know. Do you think anywhere since the beginning of time, considering all the people that have ever lived, that's a lot. Have any two people ever accidentally had sex? Oh yeah, I'm probably. Sure. Yes. Right? Okay. You think well, define mathematically, accident. like tripped into each other or yeah. something, like, well, like make it like there's somehow. There's things got to line up before China? that. China? You think yeah, you but walk around in China time, have that happen? I bet it right. happened. There's so many people. I bet it's happened to accident. China. It's gonna be a, a little bit probably in China. <laughs> That's where it happened. I bet it's happened. To, it, this would be a, a definition of accident. Okay. At an orgy. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. That's what you I expect. Eyes are already through the roof, yeah. <laughs> People in masks. <laughs> yes. That doesn't always happen at an that orgy. Orgy oops. doesn't mean mask, for I, sure. I mean, no, I'm saying, like, maybe it's some, one of the mask orgies. orgies. <laughs> and by accident, we're saying, like, oops, I accidentally had sex with my accountant. Oh, or, so you mean, like, accident, yeah. you didn't yeah. know yeah. who they were, but didn't, like, fall in. Yeah. It was intentional was sex. Say, like, the sex was intentional, <laughs> but the, the person, person was accident. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. Well, that's Key probably party. happened a lot. Look, you know? the rest of say, that. like, some woman was like, yeah, I'm just cleaning the place. I'm actually yeah. in the yeah. orgy. Yeah. I thought, because he I started with, the time. I thought, because he started with masks, he was going to go, like, you fell and your beak went in. Like the doctor's beak. Yeah. I mean, that's more likely, though, right? Yeah. There have been moments like that, I'm sure someone else has experienced that, where, like, I know one time I was walking in school and I passed someone's chair and their hand was on top of the chair, but it like hit my clip perfectly, and I was like, ah! <laughs> like no one needs to talk about this. Okay, bye. <laughs> like that's it. But I guess like, did they know? <laughs> no, they had no idea. But I you was didn't like, go oh just my like God. instantly orgasm. Like, oh! Excuse me, you just rubbed my clip for like two seconds. <laughs> Could you go <laughs> back by two or three more times? <laughs> God, okay. I let's, forgot something. Let's, I forgot okay, something else. Okay, because it's not on there. Something. I feel like we should add clit to the swear jar. Yeah. It's, it's like, like it's not a swear. Yeah, it's, it's just not. no. It's you just can't anatomy. use it as an insult. Yeah, That's an dumb actual clit. part. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's just like saying penis. It's, it's penis and a, it's a so swear. abrasive. It is. It's an absolute clit. showstopper. It's a showstopper. It's like. But it's 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 you know medical. You yeah. should, well, it's, it's technically it's an abbreviation. It's, it no, gotta, it's gotta be something that it's it's added to the drinking game somewhere. When oh, there's a word, when there's yeah. a word that's thrown it's out, and everyone just goes, yeah. yeah. I'll like, say the clitoris. That makes it better. The clitoris. But I feel you like could just say like tap right tap my vagina or something, but like it's like my clit. It's just so. It's a it's an abrupt word, but I feel like other words that like wet. It's no. Abrupt. Well, it depends what you're talking about. Moist. Yeah. Moist is gross. Moist no, is moist not. Is, moist that's is like moist. Weird. That's brisket. That's people are weird who don't like the word moist. You're weird. Well, like moist bread. Gavin would be disgusted. But he it. actually doesn't like moist bread. I know. A lot of people don't like the word moist who don't have a problem with moist things. There's like moist is a bad word. I just don't like it. So do you? How do you? It's go like get, that's fucking stupid. How do you order at Rudy's? Are you just like, uh, can I have to? Give me the wet one. Yeah. You know, not the dry one, not the no, Cutter's little one. Little wetter, little wetter. Little wetter. Yes. Yeah, give it a little bit uh, the juiciest. Yeah, yeah. Juicy, oh, I guess, yeah. is fine, but moist. You mean moist? Is not. You want the moist? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, stop. <laughs> just stop saying clit forever. I've had people yell at me for vagina before, too. Like, I was doing you vagina. Can say it. No, yeah, well, it's you've fine. got one, so it's, it's fine. It's, Everybody else. Well, is. even then, like, I did vagina monologues in college. And it's I was just advertising. Like, I'm like, vagina monologues. And people, like, actually came up to our booth and were like, can you stop swearing in public? I'm like, that's not a swear word. It's, it's like, a medical it's term. funny like, that, like, on a girl, it's so. Easily accessible to like a guy holding a chair. Like if if someone yeah. was to hit our clit, they'd have to go real deep. What? <laughs> Where like is your G, clit? Like what? Like, the G spot? No, <laughs> like like our our bit like, like that is. We don't up, have one. I feel like our parts are way more out there. <laughs> yeah, but like if someone hits the tip of your penis, you're not like ooh. Depends on how. I it am. Is. Yeah. Do people <laughs> just whack your penis? And you're like mm. no. I feel like a, a flaccid penis isn't. You know, it's not ready to do it. It is less don't sensitive. Get aroused, you know, you. It's the sensitive. Table. My point is, if someone touches it, I'm still gonna be like, "What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. don't touch me!" I'm not like, mm, God, I'm, just, I'm like, with Gavin, though. You're not like aroused when he pokes your dick. You're not like, "Oh, that was nice." Like, that's true. They got, I, yeah. they got yeah. G spot and clit, yeah. right? Yeah, but we only have we have inside and out. I imagine the clit works the same way, right? You're not just like suddenly pleasure. <laughs> well, yeah? no, okay. Right. It's we'll, like we'll talk after. It's like <laughs> it's like I got a lot to learn. It's like, like you know learning. we went through the whole conversation about like touching dicks or penis. It's like if I was like, dude, sometimes Gavin pokes my cock. <laughs> <laughs> that's everyone's gonna stop. And be like, oh my god, that's a little much. I called my vagina a flap at our That's you. that's Ooh. funny. <laughs> Flap's funny. At least was part of your away. vagina. I mean, well, it's, yes. it's not not that it's not funny. It's just it, you're right. You described it perfectly. It's a showstopper. It's a showstopper. Cock is a showstopper. You don't just throw those words what around about, all willy nilly. What about lab? Lab? No, that's yeah, fine. Labia? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's mm. that's. I haven't really used lab very much. <laughs> Labias are nice. I think nice labia is worse, actually. Labia. Yeah, it's just not very abrupt. Labia Labia's sounds kind like, of obscured. Labia the more sounds syllables like a you put name. in, the less sort of like. Well, that's funny yeah, thing is, yeah. I mean, how many curse words can you think of that are long? Like it's bastard. It's I think like is motherfucker, the but even that's two words. Yeah, and mother isn't really a curse word. No, well, unless you hate her. Depends on the mother. It's all quick. Sh you schmuck. My favorite thing about schmuck is how many letters it is. Still one syllable. It's yeah. gotta be like a punch. Like six letters. It's like, ooh. Schmuck. Punch words or swears. Or like Stupid punch schmuck. Words. Swear words or punches. <laughs> yeah. Schmuck's such a good one. Twat's pretty good. You twat. Twat's a, that's a great yeah. one. Twat. I call people fucks a lot. Are we, is, what are we doing here? Are we just pushing out the swear jar? We're chatting, man. Okay. That's just I think what we're saying happens. all the swear words that aren't yet in the jar. Uh, yeah, pretty much. We're not doing anything. See, now the swear the jar is dick. 
what is shit, it? cunt, fucking cunt. Yeah. I just had a. I just Your hit a mother mall. is right there. She taught him all those words. <laughs> it's true. Did, Did you, you learn them from Denise? No. She watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I wouldn't say I, would say I learned, them. learned them from her. We Certainly, from they were used in the household. But I mean, again, I'm I'm the youngest of three brothers, so mm. yeah. my oldest, my brothers are six and nine years older than me. It's, it's, when I, did you first say the F word? I have no idea. Probably like four or something. Mm. You know, I don't remember. Like, I don't remember learning anything. Like a lot of things that people remember. Like, oh, I remember when I found out Santa wasn't real, or I remember when I found out what sex was. I don't remember any of that. Yeah, I don't remember. Either. I don't remember anything. I just knew it because I had two older brothers. Like, I remember being the one in school in like third grade. <laughs> And someone being like, girls have vaginas and boys have pee-pees. I'm like, right, and then they stick, they stick it in. Was your teacher Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> no, I said other kids. Right, were other okay. kids. They were like, that, that's just like kids of that age are like, pee-pee, I have a pee-pee. And so I was like, you, teach you know, you, sex fuck, you fuck her, and that's how you have kids, right? And there's like, first you finger a little bit. Oh, Jesus, Ryan. Get up in that ass. Damn it, Ryan. Ryan's done with that diet. When code. did you learn about sex, Ryan? I, I don't know. You, the Ryan learns time. about sex, baby. No, what I, right I, now. No, the thing that I, that I have going right now is at, at home. Every time yeah. I hear, uh, every time I hear one of those words on TV, and my kids around, I'm like, <laughs> full did, alert. Did you just learn something? And you expect them to do have that and like Eli really cartoon smiles, moment where like, like fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> so far, it hasn't happened. It'll we happen. Have, yeah. We have that with our nephews. Like, I mean, we swear around them, but I, they've never really responded with anything. Listen, so it's their yeah. job not to swear, not my job to not swear in front. It of is them. your job. They know no, it's adult words. Right. <laughs> I started. I was playing Life is Strange, and there's actually a lot of cursing in that, which I was not aware of. Well, I should have been. I just was like, oh, I well, got to play this Jeff and Millie game played it, so you should know. That's yeah. true. And uh, turns out there's a lot of swear words in have episode one. Either of, I guess, Liv probably wouldn't by now, but has Eli walked in on you and Laurie being intimate? Oh, God, no. Okay. We, we, it cause it, they actually stopped once. being yeah. intimate oh, yeah. once they had Well, we, yeah, we, hear, we hear him coming, and it was like, do you do that thing like in Mission Impossible yeah. where you like smash a light bulb and like, put it under a hanky? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, no. Jesus Christ. Well, our room is like as far away in the house as possible. Like they are strategy. upstairs on the far Good side call. of the house from us. Good call. Good call. And we have you know, dogs to raise the alert. So apparently, yeah. I don't remember it, but I walked in on my parents having sex when I was a kid, and my dad like, <laughs> "You okay, Gavin?" Yeah. No, I had a terrible childhood. Uh, to play it off, he was like, "I'm giving your mom CPR," and I was like, "Thanks With for my saving dick. mom's life, Dad." <laughs> yeah, she just stopped breathing. One, two, three. <laughs> she, she touched my penis, stopped breathing, so I had to save her. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah, luckily our we have central air in our house. That's loud enough to disperse all the rooms. Mm -hmm. It gives like a perfect like you walk right outside my bedroom because because our house all the bedrooms are on the second floor, so mm -hmm. they're all like not right. I mean the we, our two guest bedrooms are right next to each other, and then the second floor bathroom is there, and then our master bedroom, and then even then like our bedroom goes back pretty far. You so some it's nice furniture up in that bitch. Yeah, do you like it? I do. I do enjoy our Put furniture. Lights on it. Your house is nice as yeah. shit too. Dude, uh, shout out to Rooms to Go. I love yeah. that place. Buy all my furniture there. Affordable, nice. Get a credit line. It works. Not a sponsor this week. No. But I just like their furniture. <laughs> could be, I've maybe. I've been, bu been buying them for like almost five years. I've been buying furniture there. We could get them sponsored probably. I bet yeah. we could. Yeah. Do it. You give them a taste? Like, I give guess it, that was it. Give us that, that, was, that, that was the taste right there. So if you like that taste, Rooms to Go, you know, give us some money. So your AC's loud? Yeah. It's not loud, but it's, it's like. like Right where the vents are, right where the returns are, it's like it's like that perfect level of white noise where you can't hear what's going on in the bedroom. And we have like, the upstairs TV, so we just turn that up. Well, that's what I'm saying. You can't even really hear the TV through the air conditioning, so but I you, scream you, violently. You don't live with anyone. During right? sex. So well, like, we've had well, I'm talking over. specifically. Yeah. You're looking at my mother. She's been here for two weeks. You're talking about children. Yeah. Denise is here now, and then in a month we're getting stuck with Andy again for God knows how long. While he finds a place to live. What's your hard limit on Andy? Like, I, I, if, it's gonna, gonna be. I'm just gonna in. know. I'm gonna <laughs> just know. You're gonna feel it. I told him. There's no like. I'm not like. Hey, you have a month to stay with us and find a place. I'm just like. You know. You're gonna be that one day. Be like. Enough of you. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> what's gonna happen. Just it's what's gonna happen. I'm, I'm like. Don't worry about it. You know. Find a job. Find a place to live. Take your time. And then I'm gonna wake up one day. And I'm gonna go. You have three days left. <laughs> Get the fuck out. That's probably what's gonna happen. You can it, do what they do in Hawaii. Apparently, a pineapple is like a greeting, like thanks for coming. And then when you want them to get the fuck out, you give them another pineapple, like or just hey, like a dead face. fish. What if yeah. they think Seems you're just like greeting them again? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So it comes great the day you leave and the day you <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> or like maybe I'll, he'll just wake up and I'll just put a bullet on his nightstand <laughs> with his name carved into it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little extreme, sure. Which but is that's more not a bad idea. Which to you, cunt or clit? I gotta know. 
They're mm. side by side, right? They're both. No, cool? cunt is way worse. I mean, to say, yeah, yeah. it's more offensive. Unless you're in Australia. Yeah, yeah but, but I, I guess something that would like makes me recoil like suddenly. Both. But yeah. like the thing about cunt is generally you're working up to it. You know what I mean? It's like, mm, and it's like part of the story, and usually it kind of makes sense to get up there. The thing about clit is like it's a normal casual conversation. Like, yeah, I'm just walking along now, so I'm bump my clit. You don't usually <laughs> just you're not usually just like yeah, I was walking to the door. Like, and some some cunt opened the door for me. That's or, all you know, intonation. If you just do it real subtle. It's fine. Like, yeah. But that's when it's like, oh you know, my just, god. Just, that's when it's the showstopper. Just brushing my cunt off, in. you know, got a little yeah, sandy. Right. You know? that's, See, that's, that's what fine. I do. Drop it's it weird. casually. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's like a David this episode. Cross. Gavin yeah. is squirming. He is. David Cross is a little bit weird, man. I'm just trying to catch back up to <laughs> Carrie. Dude so, was on one episode and just buried me. Took, took Jeremy Twice. seven episodes to pass Carrie in the swear jar. Wow. Yeah. Whoa! That little carry dude. Little he's, carry. He, he's got some practice. <laughs> little energy. We Quite filmed. Uh, we filmed two more ghosts with that little guy the other day. I they were fun. Are you can just do Did one you? Day or no? Yeah. In the episode. Yeah. Onto the beanbag. No. Oh. But well, you're not there. I was, was there. I was in both. For a little while. The, then Gavin started to do this on his dick, but then thought better of it. Yeah, but he yeah. didn't put stick his tongue out, so it was weird. Nah, okay. He was just going. Because that's Michael's territory. I feel like people need not to be curious. way less like standoffish about penises and stuff. Penises are over. Who's stand up? Yeah, Gavin, I think people should really just be way more interested in penises. Like, just constantly, like, hey, let me give me some of that penis. There people is, need to be less standoff. There is beauty in both items. Vaginas and Hey, nice penises. dick. I'll fight you. <laughs> what, is, what? I don't even know Where what you're saying. Where are you going saying. with that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where you're going. Let's follow this up a little bit. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, like, it's nobody... like a greeting, you whip it out and, like, hit each other for a second, and you're like, Better so back off! Right. <laughs> Sup, bro? I mean, like, not many people have that, like, a little thing going on. They should. Maggie and I twat swat each other, but that's like a female version. I once, uh, in Awu, I like bashed my knob into Ray's really Oh, hard. dude, you guys, <laughs> that, well that was like, that's basically you did the x-ray bath. Yeah. You guys did that. You were both, you had your legs crossed over each <laughs> other, and it wasn't just one thrust. You were like, humping, but then you both just started doing it, like, yeah. just like, hardcore, and then yeah. there was one good like, <clears throat> and you both just nailed each other. If you had like, x-ray through our clothes, there yeah. would have been like, like, sh like shafts. They snaking. held hands for a second. Yeah, it was almost out. like it was almost like tangled. someone with a nunchuck. <laughs> yeah. It was almost like someone with a nunchuck who made like three or four successful. Yeah, and then they hit themselves right in the and eye, and then they hit themselves in the face. <laughs> yeah, except two penises. We both did like the exact same recoil. Yeah, and that's yeah. a fucking funny ass clip. It was like a it's great. a funny gif. You should look it up, internet. <laughs> Thanks for giving us writing material. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Based on like whenever X Ray and Mav come together, based on real events. Yes, absolutely accurate. <laughs> oh shit! Hang on. Hang on, let me unlock this. All right. Yeah, I'll fire into this. Let me get another beer. Uh, <clears throat> hey Ryan, have you seen my watch? Have you seen my movement watch, Ryan? I Look see it. it. It's nice lovely. It is. I like it that is one. lovely. I took this one from Gus. Ryan He'll want it back, so I'll have to give it back to him. But everybody in the studio, including Ryan, look at him. Look at his face. He has some serious watch envy. I can see it in your eyes, Ryan, because Movement sent me a watch. They actually sent it to Gus, but I just took it. I took the watch from Gus. Thanks, Gus. He'll, he'll take it back. <laughs> but check it out. It was a little crowdfunded brand that is revolutionizing the watch game. Nice, Gavin. They actually asked if you could go, ah, in the middle of the ad read. You got so, shot in your watch right now. Done. <laughs> check that off. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they're starting to get a lot of press from GQ, Playboy, and Hypebeast. Askman said they are the hottest watch company on the market. They're all about this idea that high quality doesn't have to break the bank. Look, look here. That's where Gavin would be wearing the watch if he wore it. No, he's got it on the other hand. Well, that's, that. that's not the same. Yeah, don't do that. They didn't pay us money, I'm right? doing it. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> While Lindsay goes to the bathroom to pee with her lovely, elegant movement watch, uh, and they actually deliver. Probably while they have over one million social media followers. Social media followers. The beer is getting to me. Quality crafted watches starting just at just $95. If you try to get a watch like this at a department store, you'd be spending at least four to $500. Their style is minimalistic, clean, and sleek. You can wear it during all day, during all day, at the <laughs> office, during the at night time. It's new, it's sharp, it's an all day wear. It's nice as shit, dude. I uh, I got this watch and I was like, I, seriously, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna take it from Gus. Because I have one, you know, we, they send like a yeah. bunch. And, you know, they're not like, I'm going to give you a watch every single Like, they give us a watch every single time, just sales doesn't give me the watch. Right. Movement gives they us the them. watch. They hoard the watches like like watch guardians. And they're like, you can trade them. Watchmen. You, yeah, you can trade them out. So I traded in my old one to get this one for this podcast. Because, you know, they got different brands. They got different styles. want to show them off. God damn, I really like this one. And I want to take I it. I can tell. You, you yeah. want to keep that one. Yeah, so I probably will. You know what you should do? What's that? Just give Gus a fake one. Oh. Well, I mean, I could just give him the other one that I have been wearing, so it is real. 
Wouldn't want to give him a fake watch for the ad read, but now yeah. I will. So thanks. It's Gavin's fault. <laughs> But I'm going to help you get your style on point, Gavin. I've switched to you. I'm done with Ryan. So check out Movement Watches at mvmtwatches.com slash off topic. That's mvmtwatches.com slash off topic. We're hooking you up with 15% off your entire purchase. Movementwatches.com slash off topic. They remove the vowels to pass the savings on to you. It's not a slogan, but I've I mean, started saying I've it. I've played Wheel of Fortune. Vowels are expensive. Right. I've started saying it. I really think they should just add it. To the to the like campaign, the yeah. slogan. Pass the savings be proud on to if you, you. If you came up with some other company's slogan, yeah, it'd be cool, especially during like a sponsorship. Okay, yeah. like yeah, sponsorship. I always feel well like worth whenever it. we remember when we named the alien Gwarb, yeah, and it was like on Wikipedia mm-hmm. as Gwarb. I yeah. felt good about that. Yeah, that was cool. And they're like, I'm not yeah, sure if it ever made it into the game. It did. Oh, it it did? made it into one version of the game. I can't remember, but I actually saw it recently, like in the last few months. It was typed somewhere. What are maybe, those guys maybe, making these days? They made bread. They made bread. Well, there's and a VR version. They're also making, um, they're making that shit, what's it called? Worlds Adrift or something? It's like a big fantasy type I want to be in one game. of their games. Yeah, I'll do it. If, hey, if you're in it, can you put in a good word for me? That's, uh, you're referring to, um, Bossa Studios. Yeah. yeah. the developer. I know. Yeah. We should, we gotta get back to bread, too. We never finished bread. We haven't finished bread. It's hard. It's hard with two people. Although I will say, way easier, I think, um, on the controller than the keyboard. But I yeah. also suck at PC and using it's the keyboard. It's easier than Surgeon Simulator. Yes. That game's hard. That game is hard difficult. Game. Although again, much easier on the controller. Also I found out, believe it or not, <laughs> way easier if you play it by yourself like you're supposed to. <laughs> you play a single player game by yourself, it's actually easier than splitting the controls What? You mean if one brain two, controls two hands? Two, Two brains and four hands actually really fuck it up. <laughs> I'm excited well, I'm for that Ryan. piece Science of only go so crap far. game that we played yesterday to come out. Oh, oh. the plates we did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we filmed two plates that were pretty good. One, one we got technical issues, so we get to play with that. It was one of those like, that was the best video we've ever filmed. Oh, it didn't work? Cool. We'll deal with that later. Let's we'll try and fix one. that next week. Yeah, we should. But yeah, we filmed another plates yesterday. It's a shorty, but a goody. And, uh... I'm not good at that game. You suck. <laughs> you suck at it. It's called, uh... Should we just tell them what it is? Yeah. Bro Fist. Bro Fisting Simulator. Not what you think. No, just Bro Fist yeah. Simulator. Bro Fist Simulator, yeah, not Bro Fisting. Fisting Simulator is a very different game. Bro yeah. Fisting... Yes. Bro Fisting Clit Flap Simulator. There you go. You want to see yeah. if you can give them a taste? Like, you, you, you got it? <laughs> you, you learned this, anything? This is the game. Ready? Okay. Oops. Oops. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're ah! your fingers. You, my hands. You don't it's about 13 spot minutes of that. Well, you can, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's scissoring spot available. Handshakes. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You never did that with nerdy okay. friends? I did not. I feel no. like this is too sensitive that was my first. to put against someone else's. Well, no, I, I don't want it. anyone else to touch it. It's Do my it. webbing. Spock, shake you're me, bro. And then you just did I, it, I, though. Like, this is like, <laughs> you literally, you're like, I don't want anyone to do this. And Lindsay went, do it. And you went, okay. I just felt like of all the people, Lindsay's is probably the softest. Oh, yeah. You got the softest webbing. Yeah. Mine's probably like rough and shitty. What's wrong with your webbing? It's weird. It's just like no one ever touches it. You know, it's like it's you mine. Don't pinch it when you got That's a headache. You're supposed to pinch there. What? Oh, really? Yeah. I've never it's heard right that. It's right here. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Really? Yeah. There's a pressure point in there. I just take exception. If you, if you squeeze it, it hurts. How, really works it well. right. How many pressure points? How okay. many pressure points are there? Yeah, like surely anything's a pressure point. Well, no, there's certain things that are well, like okay, squeeze here on your hand, not on my hand. Don't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> nothing, right? Yeah. Nothing. All right. Right in there. What yeah. was that? I felt uh, it. I felt it. Uh, Someone touched Gavin's also clit. <laughs> <laughs> Someone bumped by the chair. It's Jesus. usually some of that shit is weird though, because I back when I was in I think like first couple of years of college, I took kung fu for a little while, so I had a couple of course. like books on did. different That's pressure why points. You live in that house. God damn it! What? You live in kung fu house. Oh, in okay, got it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Minecraft, Ryan. Uh, yeah. But most of those, years. like the book I was reading, it had like all these different pressure points and like this and this and this. Strong attack result in death. Like every one of them is like, you hit it hard enough, that's on the meridian that runs through their kidneys and their kidneys explode. Well, that's what happened in Con Air, (laughs) man. In Con Air? Yeah, in the opening. He. Oh, he killed a guy, Nicholas Cage. He did. He was a, uh, he was a, uh, what was he? I think Ranger? he was in the Navy or something? Oh, something like that. Or like a Marine or some shit like that. And he He's was, one of those killer people. Yeah, he was on shore Green duty. Ray, he started a bar fight, Ray. took a guy out in a bar fight, Hey, he didn't him. start the fight. He didn't. He was protecting he his was woman. He was defending his woman, yeah. yeah, it's true. And then he chopped the guy. Right, it's like, like, the same like Yeah. <laughs> right. All I know is the Vulcan death grip. Dude. Like, 
Mm. I'm sure we can we can mention that because I don't even know I don't know when that comes out. Beta we, comes out today. Okay, so the Hitman beta for the the new Hitman the new Hitman game coming out, which is which being is released. called Hitman. Yeah, no subtitles um, as of yet. Working title. And it's just uh, and you said it was um, it's like being released in chapters. Yeah, That's apparently episodic, they get they yeah. get pissed off if you call it episodic. Chapters, I mean. Um, I mean, if you're annoyed that your game's being called episodic, don't make it in episodes, right. in my opinion. Make well, a whole game so in what, one go. So what, what, what do you call it? Uh, they're the, they're the one it called. What is it, Tony? Platform. Content platform. Thanks, Meg. I mean, it's that, that really clears it, it, all, it up. It also doesn't help yeah. when you've literally followed the extremely, I, in the one, not I shouldn't say one instance, but in the most well-known instance of success, the Telltale games. And they're all called episodes. Yeah. So it's like, well, yeah, it's, it don't says, follow their formula and then not their name. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the beta, it says season one starts. I don't want to play March. seasons of video games. Well, Just I, I, give I, me the I'm fucking okay video with game. it, but a Hitman game? I want to go from one mission to the next. I want to slit some throats, cave some heads. Yeah, in. well, I imagine there will be several missions. And I don't want to wait thing, three months. Yeah, and then the downside to that is. I'm inclined to just wait till it's all out. Me too. And honestly. then I just feel like the game really doesn't come out until the last thing comes out. I mean, out. I know that I'm like a. I'm really into it, man. I'll, yeah. I'll definitely play it as soon as it comes out. Yeah. And I'll be annoyed about it. Yeah. I you already it. are. I am. You're annoyed because you want to play the game. You're just, annoyed because you like it so much. Just postpone the game. Wait till it's done. Yeah. But anyway, we got codes for the beta uh, early and we filmed Thanks the... for that, by the way. Yeah. I <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, regardless it was, of how, it was a very fun video. Regardless of how you released the game, I liked it. I like killing people. But we did a let's watch, and you guys played one, and then I did one video. Um, fucking fun. You can just do some shit in that game. It's actually very similar to the previous game. Like a lot of that stuff you could do in the last one, but there's definitely more. Uh -huh. Like, uh, can we talk about specific stuff you could probably do? shouldn't? But it comes out today. What's the video? Yeah, I don't know. When's the video out? Today. Is it? Oh Wait, no! I just what the shit. fuck? <laughs> Saying shit. I have no idea when it's what. What? I mean, out. you're the kind of person that would know that information <laughs> yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah. Next week, no, no. maybe we'll talk about it, just because I don't feel like yeah. getting in trouble. It's definitely not today. It's fun. It was cool. I liked it. Uh, one of the best options, I'll say it. Fuck it. It's in the game. I will say you can save whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Which take Manual it how, take it however you want in Hitman. Like I, well, typically, it, you it can, makes it easy. You can honestly. do that. Ever since they had different difficulties, you could do that. But uh, the the hardest difficulty probably you can't. Do they? You could do that in the last one. Well, I never played the last one too. I think, so I think you can. Um, there's definitely tons of checkpoints. In the just last for one. us, like achievement hunter. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Because a lot of stuff in Hitman, you have to like sneak into a building, do this and that, da 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 da, set up to just do one bit, like try a joke, and then either a it works, and then you still have to set it up all over again, or it doesn't work. It's like when we're trying to make that damn things to do in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Right. Throwing the dude in the hole. Right. The, it took the, us like London, LeBron. London. Yeah, it was LeBron. like a five to eight minute reset every time. We yeah. Were so I had to like it. restart the checkpoint, go to the level, yeah. run over there, get up to the roof, get the person in position, da 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 da. And if you can just save state it, like if we had that in GTA. Oh my god. Like if we had yeah. that in GTA 5, that'd be amazing. We can set everything up, make the whole set, save it, and then the second Ryan blows it all up, we can just reload whoa, whoa, it. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. What? No. Ryan, I, I, I don't so usually blow times. it up yeah. till after. Yeah, no, you're pretty guilty of that. No, no, no. Yeah, Gavin yeah, you blew are. all his shit up. You blew up the dock in Minecraft. Yeah. I wait till after to blow everything up. I mean, I was specifically mentioning GTA where you have a gun and explosives and you always do it. I yes, wait till I after dock, we have the shot. But I also, that's not yeah. true at all. I that's also totally true. blew up the dock because it's tradition to blow up Caleb's dock. I just went a little overboard. That's all. Also still, Thank you, Michael, for blowing up the dock so we can find out that the game was broken and fix the game while you're repairing the dock. Also, I fixed the dock before the game was ready. Even so, still, you're welcome. what is quicker, repairing the exploded dock or just repairing the game? The dock. That's what was quicker, because I finished the dock before Matt was done fixing the game. So that I have the answer for you. I blew up the dock and then put it back together and then we waited another 10 minutes for the game because no, it wasn't ready yet. It's debatable. Yeah, it's up in the air. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know which one took longer. I found it's one of two ways to throw it. It's like Either fucking six pieces of wood, okay? Yeah. GTA, it's, it takes like 20 minutes to get that shit together. It's the worst. Why well, I don't ever do no, that. You no. totally you do it. it. You're full of shit. Yeah. It's one of two things. Shit. Yeah. You, you always Ryan shoot shit. either initiates it or you're the friend who waits for one person to go, and you're like, oh, well, now it's all. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm all now about I'm that. Gonna do everything. Yeah, but like I never. Gavin yeah, pushed shit. me, so I took out a rocket launcher. Blew his face but off. I didn't blow up the cars. The worst thing you ever did in GTA was we were about 45 minutes into a setup. We needed jets. It took a long time to get jets. I climbed on your jet, and you blew me up. 
including my jet and your oh, jet. I remember and then that. you blamed it on me somehow. What was, was your fault? I was climbing the jet and then what was that explosion? Why were you on me? So, <laughs> that was, that was what happened moment. was I was shooting and that's when we jet. discovered where the bullets come out of in the jet and that they were explosive. Explosive bullets. It's because true. you like explosive walked over the gun turret and just fault. blew it up. And that was one of those moments where Jeff was me? like, that's lunch. <laughs> and just like, you <laughs> plugged up the bullets. I plugged up the bullets with my body. I yes! was climbing around. Don't climb around in my yeah. guns. Don't walk in front of me. man. Ryan is. <laughs> Ryan can't sit still. In Ryan the is the most defensive yeah. too. Like you're mostly most responsible, and then you're like, oh, and you just deflect blame everybody. <laughs> oh, oh. Deflect blame at the thing that deflected the bullets. I wasn't to blame. Yeah, but one could Why argue. Why were you if on were, my if jet? You were shooting, it wouldn't have happened. I think one could argue if point. he wasn't walking on our plane, it also wouldn't. Have happened. What happens is, there. is that you see a situation that you just can't resist. Yes. Shoot. <laughs> but yes. that's and exactly I'm what I'm talking as about. long as you're not in the way, it's fine. God. It's don't be better. in my way. That's the lesson. Just see, don't I'm be a, in my I way. I mess up sometimes, but usually it's like, ah, uh, you know, it was my fault. I'll own it. You're like, you just never. What was that's because in your situation, you're like, you'll walk up to something, go. Yes. Whereas I'll be like right. drinking, you, no, you walk and up then and all of a sudden Gavin will just slap off. it out of my hand. No, Gavin, I mean, like, like, you, Gavin knocks it over and then Ryan punches what? it off screen. Well, no, Gavin that, yeah. knocks the fucking can over and then Ryan sets the table on fire. Yeah. That's what that's happens. That, no, that'll happen. Once the can's over. <laughs> and I'm like, no, the can's that's, tilted, not, that's not how it yeah. works. Because Gavin shot a window, it doesn't mean blow up all the cars. Once disaster has begun okay. and it has gone past a point where it is irretrievable, I'm totally gonna pile on Ryan's top of it. Ryan's the guy who's like in the grocery store, they're getting ready for like to loot the store, and they're like, <laughs> when it happens, you'll know. And someone like drops a penny, and Ryan's like, go, it's go, go! Now! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's the only one grabbing everything. And just like, <laughs> How much older is that? Gavin the signal? Is? How much older than Gavin? At? You are 27. Yeah. Okay, so I'm eight years older. Okay, I'm definitely getting like little Ish. brother, big brother dynamic from you guys. Uh, what would that yeah. have been like? Yeah. Oh man, uh, they'd be really weird with the different nationalities. No, too. Yeah. Like, it was, it was your fault. No, it can happen. Yeah. It would just oh. be, it'd be weird. Shut up, Gavin. Mom's gonna yell at us. I've never Stop. had a younger brother. I don't know. Yeah. You have a younger sister. You sis? do now. I have no younger anything. Oh, you're the youngest. Well, yeah. So what? You have like what a step sibling. What does that mean? Well, well yeah. I was a, I was older. I was only. I was, and then I was I older, youngest. but now I'm not. Yeah. Yes. What? Did you ab abort someone else too in a miscarriage? That doesn't work that way. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> I can't. Well, yes, but <laughs> That's uh, what I did. no, no. I was the only child, and then my mother got remarried, and then I was the youngest. Ah. So wow. I have older what step age? siblings. What age was that? Oh God, I was like. Less than ten. I'm not uh, even sure. But did so you kind of count still? Did like, you live like with them? Were, did you, you grow 15, up with them? Like, no, they they are like every other weekend kind of thing. Oh, okay. So mainly still an only child. Gotcha. Are you guys friends now? Yeah. That's cool. It's good to be friends <laughs> with your half or your step siblings. Step siblings. Yeah. yeah. I always fuck up half and step. It's an important distinction. <laughs> it really is. Yes. Why Explains is it, why is it that important? Because well, it's actually blood related. To perfect, no, perfect example. I went to. Um, I went to. A dentist, and it was like a dentist here locally because Lindsay's mother is a dentist in Dallas. But it was like she recommended them. We go to them because she went to school with the guy who runs a dental practice here. She's like, oh, he's really good, you know, blah, 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 blah. So when we went in there, they knew who we were. Like the dentist is like, oh, you know, you're uh, like, he saw Lindsay's like, you're Jean's daughter, this and that. And we're like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So the, the nurse was talking to me. And she's like, oh, Jean's your, and I, I believe I was like, oh, my, I think I said my stepmom. I was like, oh, my stepmom. And she was like, <laughs> she's your, and I go, oh, no, mother-in-law, <laughs> mother-in-law. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Not, yeah. not married to my sister. We're in Texas, yeah. not Alabama. Yeah, that's, that's, that, therein lies the important distinction, if you incorrectly uh, Also, uh, half sibling, them. much more likely to be able to give you a kidney, you know, if you needed one. Sure. But you can't have a half parent. Did what? What? No, you can't. You can't. No, no. you're correct. Like some kind of chimera. Well, because before or? you were talking about like the difference between step and half, but then you told a story about a mother. Yeah, I you went. Can't I, have a half I, I went to in-laws. That's yeah, what yeah. I meant. That's yeah. what I meant. If you get like weird with it, you can have some weird like I'm my own. I meant step and in-law kind of stuff. Yeah. Half parent. Yeah, he's trying to come up with a scenario. Ryan's like cutting someone in half in his brain. I don't know. Can, can well, would it be like a quarter parent, right? Because you already have half parents. Well, like, no, but what if you have two dads and one mom? Well, no. Sometimes you can have the your dad could be your dead brother's your dad's dead brother. What? No. What? Okay. You can have what? I'm gonna need a chart. Yeah. Can we get a graphic for that? Because there was that <laughs> one guy who had a kid, but he had absorbed his twin. At, 
uh, birth. His okay. name's Dwight Schrute. Okay. And I was in there, but <laughs> it did happen. It he's was a, he's the a dead, chimera. It was the dead kid's gene that was passed on, so his son wasn't his, it was his brother's what? who was never born. That, 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 that's possible. That's yeah. crazy, I mean... But technically it's still your son, it's in your body, right? Like that brother is you that you absorbed. It's you. It's well, not yeah, but someone genetically, else. Totally genetically, it's though. not. It's his brother. But I mean, genetically, it is because it's in your body. You have That's two so genetic weird. makeups. Yeah, but if, then. You, if Jimmy was in you, it... <laughs> yeah, go on. But the difference is, it, would, it wouldn't be. It mean, would mean that you're Jimmy. But the difference is, he's alive as a person. This other, this other thing was never a person. They were never alive. That's, I mean, that's it's fair. This two, is it's semantics. Two, it's two separate really. like DNA strands. So it's yeah. like you got my, you got my fetus DNA. It's still my DNA. It's still I absorbed the fetus. He didn't absorb me. Is like, it though? It's my DNA. I like, ate him. He could have totally different like hair color. Yeah. I mean, he'd be genetically completely different from you. As it would be your nephew. Essentially, I guess, but it's there's no father to be had. It's not like you never met your father who doesn't exist. They're well, not I mean, a person. physically, there's no person associated with it, but it's not. There's your, there's there's a DNA. Scientifically, it is different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Again, but yeah. who's to say your? It's in your fucking body. It's still yours. <laughs> it's <laughs> coming out of me. There's yeah. no one else. But if you have a lung transplant, right? Yeah. Not your lung. True. Well, it is but now. that's yeah, not um, a transplant. You absorbed this person before you were born. It's kind of a transplant. That's a that's a foreign entity that has been merged with you. How is you, is it you, foreign? Uh, growing yes. up in a womb, you'd count that as foreign. Medically speaking, I it suppose is foreign, so. Yes. I suppose, speaking, but like speaking. realistically, that's what we tell the kid. Look, I'm not your father, son. I banged your mom, and you were born, but I'm not your father. But it turns out You're, my penis is actually my brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. cool though. Like the kid yeah. can be like, your dad's my, my, my dick. dad never existed. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Did that happen with Eli? When did you have that conversation with him? <laughs> it has not happened yet. Thankfully. That's crazy. Yeah. Science is weird. It's awesome. Yeah. Really yeah. weird. Love Do your kids weird crap like, like that. Yeah, yeah that's because you're not the kid. I don't know. That's why you love it. <laughs> you don't know? Like Kids don't look like anybody. That's bullshit. I've that's, seen so many some kids. Some kids are kids, yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah but most kids yeah. are like, ah, oh, it's just that's that's clay that will someday you get become some, a, a unique like, thing. Being molded yeah. right like now. amorphous blob kids. You get yeah. some of that. But other kids are like, it's usually the ones that are born with like full heads of hair. Yeah. And that's you can be like, you look like that person. All I can say for sure is that my kids look like children of the corn. Like oh, blonde hair, blonde oh, blonde oh blonde yeah, hair. They're like, even more terrifying. Which call, that was that was Call me hair. when they fuck each other when they're old. Jesus <laughs> fucking I will not. <laughs> I will be going to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this shit stops now. Right after I get off the phone with Lindsay, you're in trouble. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, Christ. Yeah, you warned me. Yep, this, yep. this one's brutal. Uh, I wasn't looking Man, for this it. whole episode is just brutal. Why is that? Watch children it's just like talking <laughs> like we said cunt and clit like 500 That's times. Awesome. We, we must have come talking full about circle around like dead feet. That was like a, a, a miscarriage fetus, really early fucking on. Fucking each other, yeah. fucking siblings and yeah. shit. Like, I don't think we ever your... like called that out, you know, properly. Do we? What? What? Yeah. Banging siblings? He just oh. said it. She just Jeez, said it. If your it. kids ever oh. bang each other, call me. And Ryan's I mean, from Georgia, uh, so. You know. Stop! Well, the, these kids off. are Texans. It's true. So, I mean, it's true. this is on you. They're All not bets Georgia. are still off. <laughs> they're not Georgia. We're still in the South. Thank you. <laughs> you he, Eli is like a one percent Corpus Christi. <laughs> uh, what oh. else are you gonna do in Corpus Christi? E. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they move. Well, the answer is E <laughs> because that is it's the fattest city in the U.S. Eat and what drink is Georgia? Col- no, Corpus Christi, Corpus Texas. Christi. Texas. Okay. It used yeah. to be Houston. But then Houston really? got usurped. Yeah. By another place in Texas. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Texas. Fat asses. <laughs> most most of the people on Six Hundred Pound Life, Texas. Mm-hmm. Is it really? Yeah. Except for apparently there was some English guy. Well, the guy who was a thousand yeah. pounds in England. Yeah, he motioned that in Denise. She'll tell you all about she it. She was so happy. Don't even she get her started. You too. She was like, I told Gavin. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> because we were talking about my six hundred pound life, the show on TLC with people that are over six hundred pounds. And it's about them getting like gastric bypass surgery to try and lose a shitload of the weight. Um, and she watches that shit all the time, but she started talking about it, and Gavin's immediate answer is just like, fucking fat, well he probably didn't curse, but he's like, fat Americans, and she's like, actually, there was a guy that was a thousand pounds from the UK, and he was fat. Just all yeah. full of bangers and mash, and Yorkshire <laughs> puddings, and blood puddings. And it's blood not it fun to watch through. the show. No. I mean, it's incredible, some of those people, how much weight they lose. But well, it, it is was, not a pretty amazing to me is like, to just watch. It's I've seen a lot of like overweight people, like obese people, and you they're always kind of the same, you know, you just you're just a bigger person. But with these people, there's so much excess that it like starts coming out of Well, you start places, getting like lumpy. And yeah. people end up with like 
it comes out so far wide, like on their hips. Yeah, like, coming just, out. There's just nowhere else for it to go. They're not and, like, round anymore. Big there's, old like leg additions and stuff. Yeah, it's there's like, people that have like uh, the like oblong shapes. Yeah, just because it's like the to fat the point just where keeps like somewhere to the point where they're like if if one of them's squeezing through a gap and they're like scraping through, I don't even know what they would describe. It's like oh, I banged my. Is it their my leg? Six, my like pouch. Yeah, Exterior. like my, my third from the right pouch. I banged yeah. it. Like, how do you describe that area? I don't know of your what body? I'm grabbing here. <laughs> <laughs> Just start naming them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, that show. Yeah, it's well, the a... clip, I guess the clip that it's, I saw was It's crazy. nuts because, like, most of the people on the show, I'm sure there's exceptions, but most of the people on the show. Are like people that just slowly gained weight their whole life, and it's so crazy to watch someone become six hundred pounds. It's like, you know, why, so, why is six hundred pounds like the whoa? Five hundred pounds. I don't know. My five hundred pound life will be the same show. Like, yeah. No, gotta, gotta have like, some sensationalism. Gotta right? go for broke. Gotta yeah, make they it must 600. have gone down the list. Like we've got like loads of five hundred pounds. Right. Six hundred pounds will be like twelve. Yeah. Perfect for a season. Yeah. There's a lot less. Yeah. Um. It's just crazy to see them. Now, some of them had weight problems when they were when they were kids. Most of them are just like life issues. It's like that the, that's their coping mechanism is just yeah. eating. That's most some of, of the them people. Some of them have really shitty lives. But like a lot of them yeah. don't have like you know weight medical issues. You know, like thyroid conditions or stuff like that. Because you always hear about that stuff. Um, but it's like you know, yeah, I was hundred pounds when I was this old, and I was one hundred fifty pounds, and I was two hundred pounds, and I was three hundred pounds. I got married at three hundred fifty pounds, then I had a kid at four hundred pounds, then I gained another hundred pounds after having the kid. And it's just like holy shit. And the other thing, where most of these people, because I'm sure it's relevant to them surviving, most of them are like in their late twenties or early thirties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're generally not that old. You know, there's some that yeah, are in their forties. Well, you still have a chance. Like, basically, yeah. down, basically. Yeah. and it's like, it sounds like a piece of shit to say it, I guess, like for the doctor, but it's it's one doctor in the show. Like it's all about, they see one uh, surgeon. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a waste of his time. You know what I mean? To be like, cause it's such like an extensive surgery. It's like hours and hours and hours. Lots and like, of risk. The, it's a tons yeah. of risk. That's why the people have to, they have to lose a lot of weight first before he'll even perform the surgery. Cause one, it's a risk. And two, it's like, you have to show me you're committed to lose weight because I'm not going to waste my time going through all this, and then you're just not going to you're not going to do it anyway. Because there's a lot of people that go in and think, "Well, I'll just get gastric bypass and then I'll be skinny." And he's like, "Well, that's not how it works." He goes, "You can still eat absolutely as much. You just can't eat it all at once, but you can eat every single hour all day, and you can still gain weight with gastric gastric bypass. It's not this magical fix all." So he's like adamant of like, "Get off your ass and exercise, and show me you can lose weight, or I'm not going to bother." Um, and then I, I assume that also applies to age. You know, you're not going to do it to somebody that's 50 years old. It's just, it's fucking insane. And, like then, it's we, su- and then we looked up like the biggest dude ever. The biggest yeah. dude and ever. He was 14 in history. Pounds. Was 1400 pounds, which is 100 Christ. stones. Yes, that's like me with nine me's attached to me. Yeah, 1400 pounds is the documented largest human ever. Like yeah. at that point, you, you're just going to be like. File of Beauregard, right? It's gonna be yeah. hands. Sticking it's like out the show you're, you're watching. There's 600. Yeah. That's more than double that. That's just indescribable. It's crazy. Woof. That's a hard woof. Right there. It's a very hard woof. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts because you you know he puts them on the diet and then you know usually they're in the 600 area and he wants them to be under 600 for the surgery. So his first thing is usually lose 50 pounds. I'm like that's insane. You say to a normal person lose 50 pounds. But it's nuts where, you know, they'll change their diet, come in, and it's like, yeah, I lost 68 pounds in two months. Yeah, they can drop it so fast. Yeah, it's shows. nuts. It's just a little bit of, yeah, well, it's, it's a lot like, of a diet you're adjustment gonna and exercise. You're going to be permanently damaged. Oh, well, I mean, well, your, your skin's skin, pretty that's much the biggest done. thing. Well, I think, well, as well, if you're there's, a bit, there's tons and tons of surgery for it. Yeah. Like, I think if you, if you verge on 300 pounds, the weight, like, flattens out your foot. Like, you know how you have a oh, arch really foot? Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't even you know become that. flat-footed because of the weight. Really? Like, it just crushes uh, your foot down. I know that. And it's like, that's forever now. You've got like a flat bone in your foot. That sucks. Yeah, um, most most of them, even the people that lose a lot of weight, like, it's a weird scenario to say, holy shit, it looks great, he's only 250 pounds. But that's exactly what you say when they're 700 pounds, <laughs> and then they lose weight to 250. But it's just like... All the skin stuff is a whole. No- there's a there's another show that's literally exactly that's called Skin Tight, which is mostly about people that were huge and then they lost a ton of weight, and then that's about their surgery of them getting the skin removed. And like one of they, this was still my 600 pound life, but it was one of those shows where the guy lost a shitload of weight and he was down to like 300 pounds, and he got up to the part where they were taking his skin off, <laughs> literally just skin, not because we were talking about there's like these fat lumps that grow, yeah. which is just nothing. It's just like these these. They're almost like tumors. They're not tumors, but they're just like 
limbs that grow out of you and they just cut it off. But not that, just skin. 25 pounds of skin they cut off the guy. Oh my god. I'm like, that's crazy! Here's the, the, the part that's wild to me though is, does, so your skin's really elastic, right? So yeah. It, do they have really thin skin? Did it just like, stri- is it like a balloon? Uh, I, think you just I make, guess it, yeah, you should probably just grow more. Skin. Like, like yeah. I think skin yeah. stretches and then your body like fills it in. Yeah, yeah. I think like so. It thickens back up. Yeah. Well, pregnant, ideally you go stretches back. stretches a little bit, but yeah. I mean, you so is that like the most growable organ? What? Skin? skin? Oh. I assume so. Yeah. Like you could, can you just be a skin farm? Skin and oh. your nose. I guess I'm you sure could. There's someone out there. Can you just keep growing and like losing weight, get the skin off, keep growing well, until you like, can make a couch? You just get clothespins and you just keep pulling it down, you put a pin weird, on, you pull it down, you put a pin on. It's like that guy in the Guinness Book of uh, World Records who has the longest ears because when he was a kid he was told that to like pull on his earlobes to get rid of a headache. And he just kept doing it. And he just kept doing it his whole life, and his earlobes are like down here. Jesus Christ. There's some African tribes that do Weird. that too, right? Oh, they've really? got the yeah. ones that do the neck. They and usually go or, like or the here, well. but yes, I've seen that. I don't think he has the world record the for longest yeah. earlobe. It's the longest, it's the furthest distance catapulted via the earlobe. The fuck does that yeah, mean? So he doesn't have like the longest, but he's flung something the furthest with his earlobe. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes cool. more sense. Like I imagined like Loophole. him taking his, yeah. his ear lobes and just like. <laughs> well, I've seen people launching his own head. I guess. There's people at skin farms. Maybe there are people who like shed skin their, farms. There's people who shed their skin, like snakes. What? Yeah, like you having a laugh? No, I'm serious. Humans. So sometimes people just crust over and then climb out. Apparently, there are people who like shed off their skin a little bit. Like, like right, ichthyosis, I'm, or I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but like I mean, nice I, word. Brian. I, I read it. I read it, know that See, true. I yeah, read it, it in an X Files cool. book. You made it all scientific. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We'll go find them. Gonna, if you shed your skin out there. I'm curious now to see if I even said Honestly, a word. Honestly, in my head it would be skin. so satisfying to shed skin. Ex- yeah, th- it's like the ultimate <sighs> shower. No, nope, You know, like sometimes if you have... Oh! No. Discoloration. Denise. That was wrong. Have you ever seen someone that takes their skin off? They shed skin. Like Has a snake. Has that been a show on TLC? Like a snake man? Shake no, she hasn't seen the snake man. I'm gonna you get know that sometimes X-Files when you have like PVA glue and it goes on your hand? I don't know what, yeah, yeah, what yeah, is I know PVA what glue. About. It's the white, like just regular, glue. like Elmer's. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, you like you shove your hand in it, it goes dry, and then it's really satisfying. Yeah, you can peel it off. It like, tastes oh, great. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. That sucks with PVC glue. Let's see. What's that? Human skin, it's like shedding. plastic pipes, PVC pipes, because oh, like, that doesn't super- come right <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, oh it's god, it's really annoying. Yeah, oh. you found them. Did no, you find the skin this, no, this is all artistic renderings of it, but yeah, I mean, some of them are kind of weird. It's fine. It's, it's not real. Your reaction was. <laughs> it looks like ours. she climbed out of her own butt. This is well, <laughs> I mean, if you were gonna exit your skin, I imagine the anus would climbed be. Climbed out. You would just do this. But like an Edgar suit, wouldn't you? Yeah. Straight out of the top. It'd be great if, like, as your skin reached final form, like you were ready to ditch it. Slowly, a zipper popped out on your head, <laughs> and you just unzipped it and climbed out. I feel like that would be the easiest part, right? Oh, human or body like, facts. Or like one of those, you know, um, you buy something that's in plastic or whatever, and it's just got the corner tab, the flap, yeah. and you could like pull it. Like if you have packaged cheese or something, cool. you peel it off. That'd be great. If it was just like, what's that on your head? Like, oh, my skin's ready to come off. And you just rip <laughs> your face off. Or if you could just go, and it would just inflate and like come loose, and you could just like <laughs> pop it. Awesome. Yeah. You just tie it <laughs> off, like. Yeah. No, I want Jim Carrey and Bruce Almighty, where he just goes. Oh, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a cool move. Did you know that the humans shed about six hundred thousand particles of skin every hour? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why you gotta send. That's yeah. why you gotta get a Roomba. It's dust. Okay, clean that shit up. I saw. We talked about Roombas briefly last week about something, and I saw somebody bitching about it somewhere, and they were like. Fucking stop talking about Roombers! All they do is talk about Roombers. It just seems like such a stupid thing. I don't what, even know you. ER? Like he was angry about it. Yeah, yeah, ER. It's like it's a fucking vacuum that cleans your house without you doing anything. How is that dumb? And he's like, I don't even get it. Well, let me explain it to you. You turn it on and it vacuums your fucking rug. That's it. Explanation over. You now know what a Roomba is. <laughs> All right, here you go. Go, go. go to the store and ask for one. It's Can I get that brand new Roomba? Dermatitis. Let me see. What the fuck? I know, I got a lot of foam on that one. Oh, I'm sorry. She was excited about you the dermatitis. You 60% foam. I did. I even tilted my cup, too. Dude, and just in time for the new shirt. I was close. It's erythroderma. Earth- were you close, derma. though? I don't go think on. you were close at all. You know, Are these people that shed their skin, though? Uh, Yeah, sure. Nice. Now Ryan's the look stuff up guy. This episode. Flu-like symptoms. I gotta look this up now. Skin shedding. Mm. Severe symptoms. 
Hey, you did, um, Zero dollar Ryan, mm -hmm. Jess mentioned it a bunch, I'm sure we can talk about it. You did another test for that, their new, uh, Let's Watch show. We did. Mm -hmm. How'd the test go? Was it's it testy? It was. We're getting there. Yeah? You know, it's good. It's, I mean, can, process. it's not gonna come out, so I feel like we can talk about what yeah. movie we watched. No, you shouldn't. Good. I wouldn't mention it. No? Don't give details, because you don't know what's coming out. We literally cannot put this out legally. Yeah, like, no, just we have saying. no license. I'm, you know, go for it. Uh, it's a, it's a weird different skill, like, that we're having to learn to not always talk. Right. Yeah. It's when most of the stuff we do, having a silent bit is bad. Yeah. This is actually the reverse of that. Yeah, I was on a test we did previously, like a week ago, and I could describe it as pure chaos. Yeah. So probably a little less chaos this week. Yeah. We're 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 getting there. We're tuning it. Yeah. Fine tuning it. it. We had another green screen screenshot to send to the internet. They've been putting. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh we got another it was one. Jack yeah. and Jeff with their shirts lifted, so they both had their beer bellies out and their happy trails going up them. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So I gave, yeah, I gave the internet one of those photos of you guys on the couch, and it resulted and in it, some interesting. It things. was great because you were like grabbing the air. Jack's just like, "Kill me, I want to leave," and <laughs> Jeff's just looking at you like, "What the fuck are you doing?" The best I think that came out of it was the animated one. I, I, I like ride up on a horse. There's so that. many good ones, man. That's there were a lot of good ones. Oh, yeah, shit. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah, find it. Find it. Now. Yeah, find it. No, you're not? Okay, no. no. You can take the time to look up people who shed their skin. But he did just want to show everyone his phone one more time. Of, well, you know, mine has a nice uncracked screen. Oh, God, mention that. So Gabby Gabby smashed his screen in on his uh, can't tilt it on his 6S. I need to close up to see it. Just yeah. tilt it towards oh, the There you go. go. Yeah, on his uh, 6S. I broke it in the most ridiculous way. I'll wait until it's a close up to really talk about what's happened here. I was livid. <laughs> just, just run towards the camera. Now there you go. There's your close up. Mm -hmm. uh Oh, you killed somebody, dude! I, I made everyone get up. Scrambling, I'm sorry, Gavin. Sorry. Gavin broadcast is freaking out right now, trying to. Uh, Someone tripped over to the east. Adhere to your <laughs> outlandish Android demands. phone. Surviving two children so far. Yeah, but Gavin do, phone. But do you have a case? on All right. So if you let me no get case. the light right. No case. Oh, okay. Back of this. Oh, oh Kevlar. Yeah, there it is. You can see. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you can yeah, see your it. Phone so made the crack is right there. Well, <laughs> yeah. See, you're, you, it cracked on the home button and, and then uh, shot up the whole screen. I didn't tweet about it because everyone would be like, "Get a case, uh, fucking idiot!" I, I mean, I smashed it on the home button, so a case around the edge. I could have screen protected it. I guess I'm not gonna do that. No. Anyway, I busted you? it properly. The way it happened is, uh, I was just stood with it in my hand, probably like two feet off the ground, slipped out of my hand. We we work in a room that's fully carpet. If yep. I'd have done nothing, it would have just hit the carpet. Wanted to try and catch it. Wanted to make the effort. Fumbled it. I slapped it, it went like five feet to my right, hit Michael's backpack on the home button on the zipper of right. the backpack. Right, and fell, shattered. fell face down. Yeah. You literally picked it up. You were so flabbergasted that it actually cracked. There's, well, usually, when you've had no expectation. When you've had whatsoever. a hefty spill and it lands face down, you're right. like, Right, it's a very old oh, moment, moment of truth, moment yeah. of truth. Whew. Right, cracked or not. Yeah. I've had many of those, yeah. never cracked yet. And I have with this one, dropped yeah. it a bunch, it's never broken. This one I was like, let me just pick this up, put it back in my- What?! Yeah, <laughs> what? he literally was like, oh, come on! <laughs> like, like, completely Like he ruined. was, like, punished, like he was, like, criticizing the phone, like, Oh, you broke on <laughs> that? Yeah. Really? And it's right on the home button, and the home button doesn't click anymore. It's just like mush. Yeah, so it, going it started yeah. freaking Feel out too. How Siri keeps talking to you. Siri always comes on now. Feel how unsatisfying that is to push. Yeah, you push oh. it, and it feels like you're not even pushing it. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. it's small. Uh, no. And then also, disgusting. also, Stop you know, it. if you have an iPhone, when you when you hold it, one, two, three, four. Nice. When you hold it, you know, <laughs> Siri comes up, and it's like this little. A, a <laughs> audio wave at the yeah. bottom. It goes. It basically transcribes everything you're saying. Gavin's like, just a timer does for 10 that minutes. sometimes. So his phone will just. It'll just. Well, go the best thing is that when I picked forever. it up, forever. When I picked it up and it was cracked, I was like, "What?" And Siri was stuck on. So Siri said, "What?" And then it's like, and then it starts <laughs> transcribing everything. Like, I can't believe it broke. <laughs> I can't believe it broke. Like, it's making fun of me. Damn it! It's mocking you. The best part of yeah. the story is that apparently you have no concept of distance whatsoever. What? You just said it was like two feet off the floor. So the distance from your, the bottom of your feet to your waist is two feet. Wait, if I'm here? Yeah, no. about two feet from the ground. You were standing like this. I mean, using your phone. I mean, what you and then you said it flew five feet. You did this. It's about five feet. Hang on. What are you Sorry, the about? table got in the way. It was like. That's as far as it got. That's as far How as far it got. How far is this off the floor? That's like three feet. Maybe three, three feet. Yeah. 
Three? I, also, you had it up here. You had it. You two, were doing two, shit two, with it. two to three feet. I'm not. I mean, like, I'll give you. Yeah, there's room for. It wasn't exactly two feet, Look but I mean, it you, certainly the big wasn't. Brother's trying to teach. Yeah, well, Ryan's, Ryan's just trying. trying to, to, Ryan's <laughs> trying to start a fight. I mean, yeah, I mean, Ryan's right. feisty. He's yeah. feisty. Yeah. 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 It was just Did he go in, in my room when you wanted to. He took my. I put. I put my nuts on his drum set. Perfect example. Perfect example. I would compare to that is, and people people have asked a lot about it, but. This is a couple weeks ago. I think it was like right before RTX Australia. It was probably actually in December. I think it was still 2015. Me, Lindsay, and Maggie, who works here, you've seen her in the animation department. The one who twat swats me. Yep, she didn't mention her. Maggie that, was. Does that arouse you? A little bit. Tell the story though. Did she wash her hands afterwards? No, probably, no? probably not. Okay. Eats her snacks. <laughs> So Maggie was over, <laughs> and she was in the kitchen, and we're, this is after work one day, and we're talking about this and that, and we literally end up getting onto a conversation about all the people that we know that had either got divorced or split up in 2015. Like, oh, this is, these purpose people split up, and this happened, da, da, da. We're talking about that, and I was doing something in the sink, and I'm, I'm washing my hands, and then I'm wiping my hands with a paper towel, and my wedding ring was always like a little bit loose, like if it was wet, so I'm wiping my hands, and as I pull the paper towel off, my ring slides off from standing height, basically exactly where your phone was at. Yeah, like eight feet. If, yeah, 25 yeah. feet in the air. It comes off my finger, falls to my hard tile floor, hits the floor, and just shatters in half. Just broke right in half. And I'm just looking at it. Cause, cause and that's your wedding ring. Your yeah. tung tungsten it's wedding My tungsten, ring. my black wedding ring. So Lindsay is like standing off to the side, like right around the corner where she can't see the floor. And I'm looking at it, and I just go... My wedding ring just broke. <laughs> she was like, what? And I go, it just broke in half. Look, like it just hit the floor and broke in half. And, and at the, immediately all I was thinking about, and we were, we were talking about it, and Lindsay and I were like, what the fuck? That's fucking crazy, blah, 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 blah. And Maggie goes, so your wedding ring just broke while we were talking about everyone that got divorced this year? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. It's a song. I guess that's not good. <laughs> but uh, so I just didn't have a wedding ring because um, we I, we were just about to go to New Jersey. That's what it was in December. So maybe a week after that, we went to Jersey and I told my mother about it. And she actually was going to give me already that trip. She's like, I found your grandfather, my father's father, his wedding ring that he had. And it's like eight cents because you know it was back in like 1842. It's it's like compared to my tungsten ring, which probably weighed half a pound. You know this thing is nothing. It feels like a piece of paper. But she was like, "Oh, I was just gonna give it to you. Fits perfectly." So wow. it's like I'm wearing my grandfather's wedding ring that like my grandmother gave him when they got married. What Until is secretly really valuable? Let me. Who knows? Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> could be. Like they just decided um, to cover up the platinum. I mean, I'm just gold. waiting till I get mine. It's not. It can't be fixed. I just need to get a new one. I need to bring it back and be like, "Hey, fucking give me a new one." Just say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of glue. Bit of glue. Bit of PVC glue. But yeah, it was just like the most bizarre thing. Where I was like, "Holy shit!" I didn't know it could do that. But I thought you were always telling me that like. If tungsten like gets too small, you're screwed. Like you have to. You can't. Yeah. You can't yeah. If it gets too it, yeah. small, well. Well, no, he's you saying that, like if your finger gets stuck in it. Yeah. yeah. Then supposedly you can't cut it. I think you can smash it to You can smash it. Well, now that I'm thinking about that, I think that's titanium. Well, it is titanium. Yeah. But I thought it was also the case for tungsten. Tungsten, it seems like you but just go can, at it with a it's, hammer. And it's like a hammer would definitely do it. It's an impact. Bro. It won't, yeah, you won't be able to cut it. You can't cut it, but you can break it. Yeah. That's basically it. So you still can't cut the ring off your finger, but you could smash it off your finger. Laser beam. But it was funny because, you know, maybe laser beam. Jeremy just got. His wedding ring, or he was talking about um, picking out his wedding ring, and he said that he he was looking at, or the guy mentioned tungsten to him, and he was like, "Yeah, only thing with this though, if it falls and like hits a hard surface, it can shatter." And I'm like, "Funny, my guy didn't tell me that." <laughs> I'm well, still, still got it. Yeah, I'm still gonna yeah. get another one. It was cool. It, it's cool a, I, I really like it. Well, it's, this this one's fine, yeah. but yeah, it definitely suited me more. But people have been asking for like a month. Two months about it, like, oh, why are you wearing another ring? It broke. That's why. So now I you just need like a on. gold chain and a wife beater to wear. And match <laughs> this. Yeah. I did like. I did like other people. I saw some comments. One person said, "Well, maybe he's just married to another person, and that's his other wedding ring." <laughs> but then other people were like, "Maybe that's just a different Michael." And Lindsay, yeah. that's how you notice, can tell. Yeah. Yeah, I've just ring. been. I've been replaced. I've been I like noticed that you people. have your second to family fair, ring on. I wouldn't. Yeah. I'd be like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> I didn't it's realize you had a second family. I'm sorry. I'm actually. I'm okay with the smash. Like. An iPhone, right? They're they're very expensive. Yeah, as a phone, more and expensive than my ring. Yeah, 
I mean, I mean, uh, it is. I'm telling yeah, you. I just, I didn't yeah. know this price to be right. Yeah. But, like, an iPhone unlocked, because I like to go back and forth between the UK and like, yeah. just swap the SIM. Yeah. So I get them unlocked. And it's about $1,000 for an iPhone mm. without contract. And uh, what they didn't tell you is an iPhone really lasts about six months. Like, the battery on this is shot. Doesn't yeah. work. By like mid morning, I'm down to 50%. Sucks. Terrible. Awful. And I do that express replacement thing where I pay like 100 bucks and they just replace the entire phone mm-hmm. because. The screen's ruined, but I also get like a new whole phone, new battery and stuff. Right. So it's kind of fitting. It's like the right time to get a second iPhone. Sure. So and you're saying like Apple makes crap products? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're really, really cool but it's for the, the first best. six months. Yeah, they are. Functionality-wise, and the fact that it's mind. iMessage and I'm everyone has one, right? It's Every, well, everyone. Is. You're asking and you're texting from you Australia. You get a boner under the table. You're like, so Apple sucks, right? Yes, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> but you once said, if someone just gave you an iPhone, you would use it. Well, yeah, if somebody gives me something expensive, I'll probably Ryan. use it. If you put something in front of him, he's like, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm not gonna yeah. support it with money. But if I have a free device, sure, I'll use it for the six months That's it lasts, and then I'll get something good. Yeah. yeah, my battery's kind of going to shit. It's okay, though. We're mid-cycle. So I'm at, everyone's iPhones right now. I'm at 13 you're, months. If you're a heavy user, your, your battery probably sucks by now. But I, ch- I mean, we have the benefit we can charge it a lot. We charge it at home, charge it in the car, charge it at work. Like, we sit charge at, on a at plane. desks. Mofis. Yeah. Like, fucking dude, every... Every American flight, I've like the last four or five American flights I've been on, they had the USB in the screen, and I love it. And like, AC power. Let me get that shit on every single flight, like I'm good forever. Yeah. Like, it's let's do luck that. Luck of the draw. Like, not all the, uh, but let's the stop power. making it luck of the draw. Let's just get rid of the old fucking planes without USB and AC power. They always it's brag nonsense. they add a new plane every week yeah. or something. What's that? <laughs> American Airlines. I was like, new plane every week. Cool. cool. Just get rid of the old ones, though. I, I the new ones are cool. Do, yeah. Stop using the old ones. <laughs> Did you watch any movies on the way to Australia or back? Obviously. <laughs> or no, actually, yeah, that's why you just left. Yeah. Forgot. Okay. And I yeah, uh, fancy class. Honestly, on the way I, there. I, I, I'd much rather watch YouTube videos, so I just downloaded thirty videos. YouTube and, Red. Uh, YouTube Red. You can download YouTube videos. Just watch them whenever YouTube you want. Too. Nice. You want to download LazyDeem? Probably can. I don't. Can you download LazyDeem? Okay. okay. Probably. You probably can though. It's available now on YouTube download. Red. I don't actually have a copy of LazyDeem. I don't have one either. I want a Blu-ray. I don't have it. Yeah. Well, it's not out yet. Can you sign my copy? On Blu ray. So. You should sign each other's copies. Yeah. 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 Jesus. <laughs> I watched Jurassic Park on the way from LA to Texas. It's an old movie. Uh, well, yes. I watched. It wasn't as exciting in that tiny screen <laughs> yeah. behind someone's yeah. chair. I watched. I did cry, though. Oh. The... Cried? I love she that. She always so much. cries during everything, <laughs> every what movie you cry ever. ever. For me, this time it was when they were going to the island, you're in the helicopter, and Tammy oh. goes, There it is. <laughs> and like, oh. You mean like. <laughs> Minute six of the movie. Yeah, I was like, I love this movie so much. It's so good. Oh. That's okay, and that's one thing. It's weird because you've seen it so many times to cry at a movie you've seen fifty times. But okay, Jurassic Park. You're gonna say it's your favorite movie of all time. It you is. have some sort of emotional connection to it. The soundtrack's there. It looks great. Okay, sure. You fucking cried. When Kirk's father died in Star Trek, when he, saw he was, in the, he was in the movie for <laughs> eighty-five you. seconds. When Saw died, just yes. long enough to build yes. a rapport. Yes, she cried when he died. He was like yeah. fodder. He, was he literally fodder. the movie starts and he's wearing a red shirt. Like he I'm dead. Sacrifice. She was like, no. I understood that struggle every time. It's Is this just, another one of your hairs? Probably. Yeah. That's a touching moment. That's right? a right? yes. yes. When yeah. he when he sends his wife and baby off, anyone and with like, a heart would yeah, cry. Like, he crashes. Did you cry? Bye. No. Do you cry? At stuff? He teared up no. a little bit. I'm sure. Did you cry? Sister? Brian didn't even get scared by fucking haunted houses. You saw that? Yeah, he's Mr. Fucking real Estate Agent. Went through that video. Oh yeah. Full time. <laughs> yeah, I edited that thing. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have any fears, phobias? Yeah, what's your biggest fear? You're pretty logical, know. dude. I mean, and according to Meg, Ryan doesn't have any fears. This is a conversation that we've had. I mean, other than your wife, yeah, Ryan's aside, not scared aside of stuff. yeah, bad yeah. things happening to I'm family. Like obviously, like that. Oh, I was just mean like you. You're scared of your wife. Oh, I'm terrified yeah. of her. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. I mean, no. true. Aside from that, uh, I should... not like spiders heights. or snakes. Yeah, heights, yeah. I like heights. Um, Roller coasters. Bugs. No like bugs. I mean, I, I don't like them, but mm. it's not like a guy with a knife in an alley. I don't like mush. That seems like it would be scary. Right? But you're like grossed you out by it. What are you afraid mush. of? Yeah, yeah, I don't no. think you're afraid of wet bread. Yeah, are I you? hope not. No, it just makes me throw up. I just rather not vomit. Yeah, you know, any day. Are you I'm more like afraid bugs. of I'm yourself? Never, I'm never afraid of the bug, but I want to mush a bug. I don't like the feel and the mess. You don't want it on you. Like touching I just don't want to be the one yeah. to just be like. No, I know. Feel I pointed that out. I don't know if it was like I'm a week or two ago, but like you won't kill bugs, but you'll totally oh, you serve them up them. to Ryan to murder it. Like I mean, Ryan, I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather just fling them outside. That's oh, why really? I typically do it at home. Yeah, 
and uh, if someone has to kill it, then you know I'm not gonna stop them from killing a bug. It's I, w- I you know I'd rather not have the goo on the carpet. That's Could the opposite eat? with me, Michael. Yeah, What's I that? would eat it. Yeah, it's protein. I hate goo too. Like one of those chocolate yeah. covered crickets or chocolate something. Chocolate covered crickets are delicious. That, that, that is, I mean, that doesn't count. Yeah, that that point. Point. that's like covering like covered in chocolate. The worst thing like, ever. Stuff helps, there. I'm sure. The yeah. worst thing ever for me is that clip of Bear Grylls eating that like rhino beetle lava. Where it like hits the lens. Oh, oh where it squirts. Oh, like because the sound effect they had. I'm gonna get out. You Squirty know? Yeah, juice is the worst. That was the worst thing. I had never in my entire oh, life seen a cockroach in person until I moved to Texas. Really? Yeah. yeah. I saw the. I saw the. I killed all of them. Yeah. For I mean, they don't have them up there. They're tiny. Where I live. They're smaller. Oh. In Texas, they're a little bit bigger. Which you shouldn't go I to just, South South America. Will kill you because they have like giant cockroaches that fly down or like glide down from trees. So you're hanging out, just walking around, like doing your thing, and all of a sudden you're like. And you're like, ah! there's like a predator bug coming on top of Dude, you. Dude, the yeah. one in Texas was big enough for me, mm. okay? Well, there's the Zika They're virus. fucking disgusting. They're huge. And then when <laughs> you when the you best. kill them, it's like they it's like they hold a ball of paint inside them. Gavin is now He's he's about to throw up. Showing a video. Alright. Just like the cameraman. Hey, is it bear? We'll put this in the link dump. Yeah, it's bear girls. Oh bear. The cameraman for this oh must have been goodness. so grossed out. Oh, oh. look at the larva. Oh. It's huge. He's grossed right, out. Right, look at everyone it. Everyone listen to the sound effect. Okay. A very, very long time. <laughs> Wait for it. I'll do it. I'm need to eat for a week after this one. Zit that was foley, though, right? Sound. No, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's real. I mean, that's what he said. But the <laughs> spray, goodness, the spray was real. Uh, spray was real. God, do you eat larva? I would, I would just I wouldn't be want dead to be dead. I would want to. I mean, like, I'm not some, afraid of it. Some people like, have bowls of larva. See, and like, actually, like, eat it. Yeah. I'm, I, like, I feel like I might just want to swallow it without chewing it, but then, like. Then There's the alive. chance it's like crawling around down your throat, See? and it's like it would die, obviously, in your stomach. Eventually, but like there could be yeah. seconds or minutes where it's like squirming yeah. around. I, like, I had that experience uh, verbatim uh, because I had health bars growing up. I played a lot of sports, and it was alive. So, yeah, there were like I had one breakfast where I was like, I gotta eat this health bar real quick. I got practice in a couple hours, what so not? I just ate it a health bar, just like a general health bar. But I ate one, and I was like, my health bar is moving inside of my mouth. Oh, there's maggots in here, <laughs> and I like oh. spit it all out. But like, I swallowed part was of it. Was that like a part of the food, or like it was just gammy? No, it was just gammy. Like the maggots were into it. Yeah. What was it that maggots were in it? It was just like some kind like, of health bar with like. I'm saying health right? bar. Yeah. Like maggots don't go in. They like, usually feast granola. on like. Oh no! no I've just, seen like I've opened saying. a Heath bar that was just completely mold. Are you serious? So, I mean, oh yeah. wow! Can get in there. Like there was some form of maggot larva. It was like wiggling around in there. I was like, it's a party in my mouth. That's a problem with organic stuff. It's uh, sometimes more <laughs> organic than you really bank it. Oh man! You get oh. a homeward bound in situation. <laughs> Got to eat this cricket. Grim. <laughs> uh, Andrew, I just he texted you. Might as well mention it. Yeah, he texted me like thirty minutes ago. I just this is pretty relevant. He says, "So they turned off the water at my work. Of course, I found that out after I took one of my largest shits of 2016. Yep. I mean, this thing is impressive, and now everyone else gets to admire it too." <laughs> He knows you can still flush once, right? After yeah, but off. I guess he may have used that flush uh, already. It didn't drown after the first one. I don't know, but uh... Tell him to get some bottled water from the store. <laughs> <laughs> really I could tell him curves. that, but I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> so he may you just have a, admire a turd just sitting in the toilet there. No, Did he send you a picture though? He didn't. Yeah. No? Which is pretty unlike him. It's like he he floats the line of me being like, all right, don't ever send me that again. <laughs> like he hasn't done that, but he's come close. What would he have to send That's you for no, you to be like, a piece of shit? If you send me a piece of shit, no, 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 that wouldn't be the last Even time. Yeah. No. yeah, if he sent me like a picture of his crap I in a toilet, he send you a that. picture of his cum. Yeah, he but did. that's did. that's like yeah, a super did. old cum on the wall. That's like forever ago. That's like the bunnies getting ripped like half. It's like a crime scene. Years yeah. ago. So if he has like a little bit count. of diarrhea up the wall, but waits a year before sending it to you, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. That'd be like, look what I did. That's a funny story. Like, look what I did a year ago. He's like, I'm shitting myself right now. Here's a video of my anus and poop coming out of it. That's <laughs> unacceptable. I think if it were real time too, if it were like a little bit more artistic, he was like, I shat, but it's like a smiley face. You would appreciate that. I don't think I would. Uh, yeah, I don't I think, think I would. Yeah. He sends me a lot of like his legs when he's taking a shit. Which is like as close as I can get. Like that is a little weird. Like to see his legs, like hair on his legs and his underwear his around his ripped legs. Ripped underwear. Usually, it's he has his ripped underwear, which we've talked about this before. But Andrew has this weird thing where, like, 
the part where his nuts would rest in his boxers, that always gets a hole in it. You know what I mean? He's so it's like acidic. his his he boxers, like gust sweat. His, yeah, it's does. very yeah. similar to the gust sweat. His, his boxers holes. always rip first, like in the middle slash back section, like where his genitals would would rest every time. Like he has pairs for a month or two, and be like, happened again, mm. and he just takes a picture of them and sends them to me, and then I in turn yeah, show it to Jeff, like really and then Jeff goes home and tells Griffin, yeah. and then Griffin is like, yeah. I don't know how he does it. See, I'm an asshole about it, but it's probably true. I'm like, you can never be intimate with a woman because if so, she's like sucking your dick, and then her lips start like melting off. Jesus Christ! <laughs> like you'll ruin what it. My it mother is right got, there. Like, razor balls. I mean, what if he's got like, <laughs> you gotta like fresh grain? With find that an thing. acidic Jesus. woman to adjust the pH balance. Yeah, she, he needs two. a basic woman. A basic woman. Yeah. A basic. Find a basic bitch. There you find go. Find a basic bitch. That's but what it is. That, that's acid explosive. And acid makes alkaline. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. Those two mix together for bad things. Well, you know, exciting things. Maybe he just needs someone more acidic. Mm. But then he would he would melt. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool way to go though, right? Is it? <laughs> a cool way to go? Yeah, Alright. It's like Melt Man from With the power to melt. melt. Yeah, it's from a show. It, it was, was from it Kablam. Wasn't, it wasn't yeah. in your Kablam. country, and it was that's after what it was. your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess we should. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. We'll wrap it up here. There's oh, there a, we go. Yeah, that's what you did. Oh, this that's morning. the uh, yeah, that's the new one. If you want to mess around with that green screen, oh my god, god. Yeah, I know. regret looking at that. Are you I like that too? Jax, for some I mean, reason, is woo. overexposed. Like it is. It, it's too reflective for the cameras. He's so damn pasty. So white. You should get outside. Play more disc golf. Yeah. Yeah. Does he still do that? It's really a sport. I don't know. I, I had Jack's been hitting the gym pretty reg. Yeah? You like that too? Has he? Wow, you finished have, that. Have one. you asked you him went about back him? for it? Like yeah. you left it hanging and then returned. You asked him about it? That's what I meant to say. No, nah, I mean, the, you said he's always late for work because he's at the gym. Well, that's what somebody else said. Who said that? Somebody told me that. Ryan. I think Ryan I told, told you me that. that. Mm. Yeah. I'd that's say, how shit gets done. I didn't make a uh, call about whether he was late to work or not. Yeah, he was, he was though, he was late. That feels and like I was a like, why the fuck is he late? We're like, that person said it, it wasn't me. It was the- Someone told yeah. it's like the telephone game. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sack it off. Yeah, <laughs> Denise, you want to come say goodbye? Because you're leaving? All right, let's just wait another 20 minutes while she hobbles over here. She's got a bad knee, right? Yeah, well, it's good now. She got it replaced. Yeah, she oh, got yeah. a whole new Stun. knee. She got knee surgery. Got like a, a knee's like a 20 year old. Denise. Yes. Denise, what did you get a new knee? Yes, I did. So it's like a robot knee? Bionic. So you should be running faster, not slower. Yeah, she's like That's that right. woman from Planet Terror. <laughs> so, so Rose McGowan. Yeah. You, you made that. Yes, mm-hmm. you did. Proud of it? Third yes, kid. I am. Dude, I got her on a podcast. It's true. Right? You did. Like, mission accomplished. All right, well, thanks for watching this week. What's my title? Tune in next week where Denise won't you be here. You said it earlier this episode, I can't remember. But she'll still be nagging I said on it? the phone. You, what? Who said I think it? I said something that I wanted as a title. Yeah, we'll but I already play, gave we'll them a title, we'll so they better not use your bullshit. That could okay? be next week. Is there a title clash? My, is it the first time I have two titles? Clash you won't titles? have two. I don't. One day. Goodbye. I can only hope. <laughs>